Hi, hello, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Lori, and today we are doing the first quest for Honkai Star Rail's new update for 2.0 for Panacone. I'm so used to saying the other thing that I usually say. Um, <laughs> uh, this is my first time doing like a video specifically for a quest for Honkai Star Rail. The other videos prior to this were kind of like compilations of my journey getting into the game. So this is really exciting. Um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm really loving Star Rail and I'm very excited for this. So without further ado, let's, let's just get into it. Here we go. I don't know, y'all, I don't know when I'm gonna edit this. I've got, I've got like a bajillion videos to edit. Apologies for the delay, <clears throat> here, passengers. Something important came up. So I, the conductor, had to spend some time preparing. So what came up? It's rare for the conductor to make an announcement. Are we switching routes again? Yeah, what was so important? I thought everyone knew. Our next destination is the planet of festivities, Panacone. I know everyone's eager to disembark and get to that famous stellar hotel. But before we set off, I should remind everyone of three things. First, Panacone is located in Azdana. A star system brimming with memoria, which has historically been one of the macro voids that leaked out from the memory zone. Even after eons, the memoria concentration up ahead is above normal levels. Usually this wouldn't be a huge problem, but everyone's different, so if you exhibit any signs of dizziness, hallucination, distorted memories, or any other symptom, you should take them seriously. Girl, what? Second, Penacone is a colony belonging to the Harmony family. It also marks the first time this family has extended a public invitation to other factions. Please remember that the Express has been invited as a guest, and that we must adhere to any and all regulations. Got it. When in Rome, as they say. <laughs> Don't worry, Conductor. We definitely won't embarrass the Nameless. Rome? Anyway, <laughs> third and final. Rather Where did she hear that request, from? Pom Pom has a favor to ask of everyone. If you could, I hope that while you're all on vacation, you could spare some time to help inquire about a few of the nameless. Uh, are we getting new crewmates? Uh, allow me to explain. <laughs> Just like most of the worlds that the Express calls at, Panacone is one of the stops along the Silver Tracks. Several millennia ago, it was an IPC frontier prison, and it was the trailblaze that connected it to thousands of stars. During that time, the Astral Express once visited Panacone. As with all meetings, they inevitably lead to goodbyes. As the Express's logs indicate, it seems some passengers decided to call Panacone their permanent home. Is this a rare happening? Who could be this important? It's been so long. Will we still be able to find them? Don't worry. Just think of it as returning to your hometown. Following the Express's departure, the Stellarons cut off contact to myriad worlds, and Penacone's ownership switched hands several times. Why did these Nameless choose to stay here? How did the course of their subsequent lives unfold? And what legacies did they leave behind? retracing our predecessor's footsteps. That is in itself an adventure, wouldn't you agree? Even if they left the stars behind them, their trailblaze would not be over. That's also what the conductor thinks, isn't it? According to the passenger list, the three people who got off were Tiernan, Legwork, and Rosalina, the Express's guard, mechanic, and surveyor, respectively. No supplementary details are available. Uh, just names and occupations? And they don't even sound like they're real names either. This'll be like looking for a needle in a haystack. We'll just leave it to the stars of fate. Considering the Nameless's diversity, perhaps we might even stumble upon their descendants. Or, against the slimmest of chances, the very individuals themselves. We'll conclude today's navigation meeting on this point. There's a bit of time left before we jump. In the meantime, 
Might be a good idea to double check your bags. We have bags? I'll broadcast an announcement before we jump. There's still some time before the jump. I should talk to everyone. It's time to talk to everyone. You want Himako? Babs, I hope that you get her. Did you already do all your pulls on the beginner banner? Zayo. <laughs> She's staring at me like, what? Let me in. Oh my God. You're gonna choose Himako from Standard when I do 300 pulls. Now I don't know who to choose from Standard because I was gonna get Branya. But now that I got Branya last night, I'm like, damn, who am I gonna choose? You know what? I might choose Clara. Clara or Bailu. Um, let's talk to Himako first. You're the picture of calm as always. Meanwhile, March 7th, buzzing around like a kid on a sugar rush. I'm excited too. Of course I'm the mature adult type. <laughs> a punchline with a straight face. I suppose that's your specialty. But regarding the family's invitation, I do have some details that I wish to discuss with everyone. Just not now. Let's enjoy our vacation for now. Damn. That did sound very mom. Like, I've got some things to talk about, but I'll let you kids have fun first. We can turn this off. Anyway. How's it going? <laughs> All packed and ready? There probably won't be any surprises happening on family territory, which is a bit of a shame if you ask me. But hey, it's rare that we can take a break and let loose. Let's enjoy it. Mm. You look relaxed. <laughs> well, Adventures are exhilarating, but rest and recuperation is equally important. Rest and recuperation aside, don't forget Pom Pom's request. <laughs> the conductor has done plenty for us, and it's time to return that favor. Maybe if you choose Claire, she'll leave me alone. <laughs> oh no. You chose Papa Well. Oh, you're still missing by Lou. <laughs> Don't I live here? <laughs> Hi! Oh my god, wait, I just remembered. <laughs> Look at his what? It's like he's in an ocean. It's like he's he is in the water. <laughs> Ooh, wait, hold on. He's got to watch her bed. I love him so much. Ah, I spoke to Mr. Yank. I'll be staying on the express this time. I wish you all a delightful time in Penacone. Why does he sound so happy? You're not coming? Thank you. I appreciate the invitation, but I don't like bustling places. And... <laughs> Someone has to handle the work on the express. He's really so valid. Pay no mind to the matters concerning the Xianzhou. Penacone isn't the final stop on our trip. We have plenty of time. Once everything is packed up, I will naturally catch up with all of you. Um, I'd advise double checking your bags. Word is that the family's customs procedure can be quite demanding. Better to sort it out now than face issues at your hotel check-in. He's like, after Shanjo, peace out. I had enough trauma, right? He's just like me for real. I love him. What's up with his voice? He's extremely excited to not go. Like, I, I truly understand. He's like, I hope that you have fun. But me, I'm staying here and it's going to be great. Camera, check. Extra clothes, check. She's also Toiletries. like me. Toiletries. Aw, drat. The travel bottles I ordered haven't arrived. Although, I hear that Penacone's resort hotel is pretty luxurious. I'm guessing their toiletries should be just as fancy. <laughs> that means I can make more room in my suitcase. What else should I bring? 
Um, take me. You won't fit in the suitcase. <laughs> Can't you walk? Uh, maybe I should bring some novels or comic books. At least then I won't be too bored while staying in the hotel room. These books are so heavy. <laughs> Aw, this is hard. What else should I take? It's about time. I should find a seat. She's so funny. Oh my god. Aw, this is hard. She is she is really just like me. Like it's not even it's not even funny at this point. Like that's that's me when I'm packing. You started this quest at seven o'clock this morning and you're still not done. Oh no. Are you getting are you getting like um distracted with stuff or are you just is just so much? <clears throat> the I don't I guess I don't intend on finishing it today then. Like I don't think it's gonna happen. Bye. Since I have a hard stop at five, too. The express is about to make the jump. The express is about to make the jump. Please be seated and hold on. Come with me, take the journey on. What's it five? I have to, to I have jump. to rate out. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, I saw Acheron, I think. I saw, was it Robin? Oh, what's happening? <sighs> Not another one. Come with me. Uh, <gasps> Who are you? These questions have no meaning, but I will answer you as best as I can. This is the border between reality and the memory zone, a dreamscape. Allegra Clark? Right this moment, you and I have coincidentally shared the same dreamscape and appeared in each other's minds. This is the Land of Dreams inaugural welcome for us. Worry not. For very quickly, you will awaken from this dream. Forget everything that has transpired with naught but a faint lingering of loss. Pay no mind, for this forgetfulness happens with each new dawn. It is an occurrence that we have become accustomed to for so long. So, come with me. I'll take you home. left at the end of the corridor i will wait there for you this is so pretty though no but this really does give big big vegas vibes right here like this is this is so vegas core this is what all the drama was about wait what drama <laughs> right like i i uh, not there Turn back. I mean, I knew when the when they announced that Allegra Clark was going to be voicing her, I was like, like I want everybody anyway, but Allegra Clark is one of my favorite voice actors. I adore her. What the fuck? Not effigy ordering stuff again. <laughs> Here we go again with effigy ordering. Order like with a restaurant. I can't do anything right now. <laughs> Galaxy Ranger Acheron. This is what they call me. Space call me Ranger. Whatever. Sorry, I was like, every time I hear Galaxy Ranger, I think of Buzz Lightyear. <laughs> Open this door. Take a look at the mesmerizing dreamscape. Oh. oh this is no. Way. This way. After you. <laughs> Space Ranger. What? Wait, hold on. I can't hit that. Okay. 
How is oh. this even possible? I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> Why not? I'm gonna throw up from she motion sickness. <laughs> my head? Oh! We're oh my god! There. Can you still walk? It's the siblings. It is the high Entia slash Kamisato siblings. Don't panic. This is normal. <laughs> don't stop. Don't turn back. Don't look down. Or up, for that matter. They are giving us so much right from the beginning. Um, Acheron, like, I will be These right voices. there. I'll be right there, but just, They're like, give just me a second. Dreamscape. Pay no heed to them. Come on! There's no way they're not gonna let us take pictures here. Oh, this some shit right here. Just taking a picture. <laughs> I'm trying to look at the, their details. Oh my god, she's got the cutest little, like, a little musical note on her clothes. Look, look at her shoes! I hope that, I hope that, that they're both playable. I, I, I cannot get over this. I cannot get over how much they remind me of the Hyentia siblings. Okay. The Charmony Festival stage belongs only to you, little sister. But if I can't sing, what meaning does a stage have? Mm! Damn, I didn't even get to look at um, Sunday. What's over here? Oh, it's Sam! <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh. oh, the charming audacity. To think that you, of all people, might emerge victorious, dear Gamber. That's me. Three chips are enough. All in <laughs> Bitch. I think that he's actually talking to me about gambling. <laughs> Look at Sam. What in the hell? He is, he is very big. He's very large. How do you intend to pull them off the stage? All we have to do is present the truth and they will naturally reciprocate. Uh, what the fuck does that mean? Excuse me? Pull them off the stage? Now, I know they're not talking about... Are they talking about Robin? What's going on? <gasps> Spark! Oh my god! Hold on. Oh my god, 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 my god. Girls! Girls, girls! Girlies! Oh crap, my... My... Hold on. Sparkle is so tiny. She is she is so small. What the hell? This small small girl was able to do what she did with the the broadcast last night. Like I is she smaller than Fushuan? I I took a screenshot and it looks so stupid because <laughs> because she's so tiny. I'm going to post it in Discord, y'all. Um, the uh, uh, Honkai Star Rail, excuse me, photos. Because it's just, this is so funny to me. Like, I was trying to get a picture of all of them without the listen thing, but she is barely in the picture.
<laughs> She's barely in the picture. Memo Keeper, do you think you can just leave? I'm sorry. The dance partner of my choice, I've already chosen. Huh? Oh my goodness. Oh, we're we're going fast. We've got the zoomies. We're here. Oh yes, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is exactly why I will not finish today because I must take screenshots. Okay. Oh my god, she is so pretty. What the heck? Look at her. Oh my god, look at her hand. What the heck? Welcome to the reverie. <gasps> May you experience an Hello, Misha. Uh, <clears throat> if you need help checking in, please head straight to the concierge. Leave this realm and rise as you would on any other day. Forget this fortuitous encounter and return whence you came. But before you do, I would make a request of you. You may think it somewhat strange, perhaps even rude, but I wish to know. Have we met somewhere before? What do you mean? You evoke memories of an old friend. In the haze of my recollections, she stood shoulder to shoulder with me. Much like this surreal dreamscape where we stood close yet forever out of reach. May I ask you a few more questions? I tend to forget things, which is why rather than memories, I'm accustomed to using my emotions to capture what I normally wouldn't otherwise. Same. The answer is inconsequential. Your spontaneous reaction is what matters. For instance, when you awaken in your room, your lips speak several names. Are they your companions? Family? Enemies? You seem to have forged unbreakable bonds with many people and many incidents. Might I ask if you fear losing these bonds? What is happening? Why is the text red? Stop! I'm freaking out. <laughs> uh... If it means that I will disappear, I would. If it means losing them, I would. Yeah. Hmm. Then, if there was a vast dreamscape, so lifelike it's indistinguishable from reality. There, no one faces life's separations or deaths. Everyone attains their deserved happiness and lives joyfully ever after. I would ask, would you wish to stay? I would no matter the cost. If I didn't have to pay any price, I would. That depends on the price I'd have to pay. I would never want to live in a dream. Don't want to live in a dream. <clears throat> now, imagine if this splendid dream were fated to fall apart. Friends, family, strangers, followed by the gentle breeze. Soaring birds, the stars, and ultimately yourself. Everyone and every face they remember. The joy and the heartaches. The vows sealed and those left hanging. All will inevitably march towards a predetermined ending. If you had grasped the journey's finale right from its inception, 
I would ask, would you still embark on this journey? I would abandon it. The price is too dear. I abandoned it. I have already tasted the beauty of dreams. I would abandon it. Trailblazing was never my intent. I would blaze a trail without hesitation. I think that I would still... The, the journey is what matters. I don't know. I don't know. This is such a hard question. I know this is hard. You don't have to be hard pressed to make a decision. <laughs> As I've said, the answer is inconsequential. Hearing, touch, thought, through these you gain emotions. Cherish them. With emotions, we make choices. And so we return to the original question. I would ask, do you still remember me? Girl, I don't even know who the fuck you are. Wait, unless, unless she's asking because we had a dream about her. I understand. Now I feel like that was a trick question. How interesting. For a split second, it felt like countless versions of you alike yet distinct gave entirely different responses. Oh, that's so weird. That was my final question. Thank you. We all have our paths to walk, so we shall bid our farewells. Will we meet again? You haven't told me how to leave this place. I say we'll meet again. The golden dream is getting restless. In the coming nights of long, I'm afraid you will face many tribulations and witness many tragedies. And finally, your sight will only see black and white. But please believe me that in that monochrome world, there will be a glimpse of fleeting red. And when you make a choice, it will reappear before you once more. We, we saw, okay. What the hell? What you must do now is ponder its significance. And then you can return to the waking world. <laughs> That's where we all find our answers. Uh, what the f what the uh, fuck is going on? I hear this question a lot, actually. <laughs> I may have dreamed of a tragic future. I may have dreamed of an old friend. I dreamed of a Riddler spouting strange talk. I dreamed I was slashed by someone with a blade. Mm, sounds like you had a nightmare. <clears throat> we just arrived in Astana and already. Uh, you should be careful. It seems your tolerance to Memoria isn't the strongest. Don't fret. Dreams are often the reverse of reality. While you were sleeping, the Express arrived at Pataconi. Can you imagine? Yesterday's grim frontier prison is today's lavish hotel. I wish I could wander Pataconi streets today, but I'm pretty train-tied at the moment. You'll have to be my eyes and ears while we're here. Gear up and make sure you've got everything. And before you step out, swing by the back and grab March. She's waiting for you. I'm there. still thinking about that dream. Like, what is, is happening? Still her luggage? Uh... Oh, that's right. I forgot to mention. We have drops in here for anyone that is wanting their drops. <clears throat> Everyone hydrate. Thank you. Hi, Jer. Memoria Final Fantasy IX. I miss someone I've never met. Mind your business. People do that sometimes, exactly. Oh my god, it, that was a really good scene. Allegra did a fantastic job, agreed. How are you 
you speaking in red? <laughs> uh. Okay, um, let me uh, get to Effigy's order really quick. What did, what did he say? He wanted he wanted one ten pole. Hold on, where is I'm con confusing myself. <clears throat> Wait, is this not my account? Yeah, this is my account. Wait, he said he wanted 50? No! Get away from me! Get away from me! I'm about to, I'm about to like, I don't know, do a seance, not a seance. I'm about to do a fucking protection spell. Like, get away from me, ghost. Like, I was defending you, and I was saying, okay, she's good, she's alive. No, now I'm tired of you. Maybe you should just, maybe you should just stay dead. Sorry, that was mean. <laughs> but if I see her one more again, I'm gonna lose it. You accidentally got an E1, uh, Dill. Okay. Okay. Wait, no, she's... Wait, she's E6 too! Oh my god! I have got... I've got to perform... I've got to do a ritual. Like, this is not working. <laughs> I, I already, I have like E1 Nisha, but I cannot believe how often I've seen Ting Yoon. Like she has shown up like 90% of the time. I am so tired of her. I did, I did say that I wanted girls. I said that I wanted, I wanted to see the women, but I was, I was kidding. <laughs> it was a joke. Ha ha ha. Stop it. <laughs> Give me some more Mishas. And a light cone and got scared and dipped. Oh no! Come on, come on, Misha. Come on. Come on, Misha. Let's go, Misha. Let's go, Misha! Effigy, I didn't get, I didn't get anything. I got, I didn't get anything. No, she won't, she will not, like, she will not fuck off. Yeah, I didn't get anything. How many, wait, how many? I, oh, I already have Kayla. Kayla, I already have Kayla. I swear to God, don't do this. Okay, she didn't show up here. <clears throat> Who is the best five star currently on a featured banner? Black Swan, Black Swan option B. <laughs> okay, I think that, well, we can try, um, let's do singles. Yeah, I think that was a dupe. I think I already had it. Mm. 
Right, it's so rude. Like, I really wanted to, I really wanted to get Sampo. But, um, I guess I'll, I guess I'll get his light code times two. Oh, you want that light code so bad? We'll dupes with it. Yeah, I guess when I get my free, my free four star, I'll, it'll be ready for him. So. We're being silly thanks to Effigy. Eff Effigy gifted, please. Girlfriend. Girlfriend. I am... I am literally... I am literally begging y'all. Kindly leave me alone. Kindly leave me alone. I'm on my knees. Begging, please. <clears throat> Yeah, like... I got... Yeah, Faeus, I got like a bunch of Ting Yoons as well. Like, it's... It is wild. I got so many. Okay, well, that was... That was where we are now. <laughs> So, uh, we are pretty close to a five star on there. So we'll just keep getting gems and then we'll try and see what we get. Okay, let's go get March. Adventuring in Acheron. Um, well, I'm also, well, I'm trying to get, um, whatchamacallit. I am trying to get Jingyuan and Sparkle <laughs> as well. Up. Yeah, I'm trying to get both. Welton Himeko beat us to the punch, but I stuck around for you. Let's get going. Mm, shall we go meet up with them now? I'm ready. Anacone, the planet of festivities, the universe's biggest and fanciest amusement park awaits. sure doesn't play around with their entry protocols. Our bags probably know what it feels like to be a celebrity now with all that attention. I wouldn't have put it past them to try and nab that Stellaron from inside you. Thankfully they didn't. <laughs> uh, aside from that, I have to say the family has been really accommodating. Oh my god. Well, the hassle was worth it. Just look at this grand hotel lobby. And those endless rows, they're all rooms, right? Just think of the number of guests staying here. <laughs> Where are our rooms? But come on, Mr. Yang and the rest must be at the front desk. Let's hurry up and meet them there. This was like me when I first walked into the Grand Floridian at Disney World. I literally said like the same thing. I was like, oh my God, look at all the rows of people Welcome staying here. Ever. There's so many, many people, it's so pretty. An unforgettable holiday. Uh, <clears throat> if you need help checking in, um, please head straight to the concierge. Misha, I have a question. Do you fucking hate me? I'm Misha, a bellboy working here on Penacony. Pleased to be at your service. If you need help with your baggage, uh, over here. Something's not right. Should you need assistance with moving luggage to your room, feel free to contact me. Uh, please, go ahead. Don't keep your friend waiting. Who is voicing Misha? Welcome to the reverie. May you have an unforgettable holiday. <clears throat> Should you need assistance with moving your luggage to your room, feel free to contact me. 
Um, I hear this hotel is pretty unique. Uh, yeah, it is. The Reverie does not only provide accommodation for its guests, it is also connected to both Panacone's reality and dreamscape. Guests from all over the Cat cosmos Petrano. come here to immerse themselves in a marvelous, dreamy Who journey. else do they voice? That sounds... Wait! Aren't they voicing Shirk? In Genshin? I said Shirk. Skirk. <laughs> oh my god! Amazing. Um, how is it working here? Uh, uh, are you asking me? Uh, hmm. Well, it's not too bad. Many guests come and go, and I get to hear all about their adventures. When I get tired out from all that dreaming. The hotel's dream pool provides a comfortable dream experience. So don't you worry about that. Aren't dreams fake? A good question. Maybe not all dreams are false. Well, at least the ones in Panacone aren't. Or perhaps should I say they are... Uh, another reality? I see. Got You'll it. You'll know what I mean when you enter a dream. Panacone will not disappoint. Uh, yes, this hotel is Panacone in real life. And the Panacone in the dream is a place where miracles are born. A land of lavish joy. A grand banquet where the curtains never fall. Um, uh, it's hard to describe its magnificence in words. In any case, you will surely be odd. I hear the family held a grand event. Ah, you are well informed indeed. It is an opportunity provided by the family and a tradition on the planet of festivities. Everyone gathers in the hall, reveling in merriment, pursuing opportunities, staking all they have on one desperate gamble. And finally, their dreams become reality. May you have a pleasant stay in Panacone. I didn't know that he, his eyeballs were, uh, what do you call it? Wait, where is he? What in the world? Oh, he's so weird. <laughs> That's so weird. Sorry, I'm salty. I'm salty because this this man hates me. <laughs> hey, what's the big gathering at the concierge about? We've just arrived and there's already drama? Totem. A totem representing the family declaring the five lineages rule and maintenance of the dreamscape. That's a baby. That's a weird baby. That's a baby that hates me. Uh, a grenade? Interesting. Is it detecting life forms? Ah, even if we stood on each other's heads, this statue would still be taller than us. Flammable goods? Oh, there's a bunch of the random chests. Cool. Face recognition failed. Oh, he's your new main? Oh, cool. I cannot get over these children and their pom-poms. Like, straight up. They're like little moogles. Little moogle people. Wait, what's this? Oh. Elevator. Okay. It's so pretty! I'm sorry, but your name really isn't in the system. Oh no? But in the information I received from the Astral Express, it states that we already reserved rooms. Please, check again for me. Yes, ma'am. Please give me a moment. The Astral Express, four platinum guest rooms, whose names include Mr. Welt Yang, Miss Himiko, Miss March 7th, and... 
Mr. Don Hung. These are the only four names on the reservation list. <laughs> yes, I'm Mr. Don Hung reporting for duty. Don Hung. <laughs> I, I understand. No wonder our friend's name here is missing. When we responded to the family's invitation, she hadn't even arrived on the express. Uh, something came up in Don Hung's schedule and he couldn't make it. I have an idea. Uh, could you reassign his room? It's still the same number of people. She's a new passenger aboard our Astral Express. We can vouch for her status. I... even if that is so, I'm afraid... Show Trailblazer profile. No, I'm not doubting your status. It's just... This is so nostalgic just to be here. Right now, we're on the eve of the Charmony Festival. Panagoni's most Oh, is this adventuring? Oh my god, his end. eyes! And with what is with his invites, boob window with the- it's a part! All from all over the cosmos have thronged this place. Oh, hotel security is on high alert with zero room for error. And with such a last-minute change, it really isn't something that this young lady's words can resolve on a whim. My esteemed guests from the Astral Express, please do not make it harder for her. We are sorry for all the trouble our check-in seems to have caused. Might I ask for your name? I am the humble aventurine of the IPC Strategic Investment Department, a non-performing asset liquidation specialist and subordinate to Supervisor Diamond. I was cordially invited by the watchmaker. <laughs> I also happen to be a traveler that's had to stand behind you for quite a while. Leave it to me. I've heard that the IPC has also received Penacone's invitation, so forgive me if I'm mistaken, but you must be the representative. The IPC's elite certainly does have an extraordinary air about them. I suppose such an exceptional figure such as yourself wouldn't mind paving a convenience for us? I, I must be hearing things. Paving a convenience? Shouldn't I be saying this to you instead? I've been waiting here for more than 10 minutes. Do you know how many credits 10 minutes is worth to me? It must be an inordinate number, which is why now, Mr. Aventurine, I have an investment. She's like, oh. Absolutely mm. cannot miss out on <clears throat> Wow, that's... The IPC's influence that's wild. runs deep and wide, and their word wields the I don't give a shit. authority. <laughs> we hope to borrow your status to vouch for her. As such, you won't just be sparing much of your invaluable time, but also forging new friendships. <laughs> well, this is interesting. And how will my new friends benefit me? Now this is a topic very much worth getting into. Just as we are guests of the Watchmaker, why don't we make ourselves comfortable in Penacone before getting to know each other more elaborately? <laughs> Sounds good. But, Miss Navigator, I must point out that... If I do something about it now, the time saved is from my own effort, not a favor from you all. <sighs> but, what you said in the second half... I loved it. Friends, yes. Nothing is more precious than friends. <laughs> Especially a righteous trailblazer like a nameless. Going forward on this Pentagony trip, I'll be counting on all my trailblazer friends here. Looking forward to a delightful time with you all. I'm glad you've put it this way. So about the vouching... There you go, miss. Please allow her to check in on my account. I have an appointment with the family's Mr. Sunday. I will ask him to handle this matter later. Don't worry, I won't cause you any trouble. Um, but... Ali, 
Just a moment. The family cannot allow guests to enter a dream while bearing burdens. Oh, speak of the devil. Look who's here. Oh, <gasps> look at them! Son, the most handsome man. In the most handsome man? Along with a singer renowned across the Along universe. Along with the one girl Robin. who's really famous. But here's the most Robin. handsome man. Handsome person in Penicone. Now interesting. <laughs> She's like, oh my god. What? Koga! I've kept no. you waiting, Mr. Aventurine. This way, please. Let us speak in private. Astral Express guests, please come this way and rest your feet. If that wasn't the, the gayest Wait, thing I've seen in my life, you're... look at the most handsome man. And then she's like, ooh, ooh, ooh. Y'all are flirting. I got a, I got a bunch of tingyuns again, a bunch. I'm at, I'm at 67 right now. Yeah, I already used them all. I, I missed them. I missed them what? <laughs> I never thought a cutie like yourself would be a fan of mine. It is an honor to meet everyone. <laughs> Are you also a member of the family on Penacone? I love him? this LGBT family. <laughs> Truth be told, I am a guest like everyone. Penacone is my hometown, but I left when I was older. I was graciously invited this time to return and sing a song at the Charmony Festival. The person you speak of is Sunday, my senior, and one of the local leaders at Penacone. He is also the organizer of this era's Termini Festival. He heard you all ran into some difficulties and sent me here to provide aid. Alas, I arrived a little later than usual. I sincerely apologize for any unpleasantness during your stay. <sighs> Please, be at ease. I have instructed Miss Allie to resolve the system error as soon as possible. I have also upgraded your rooms as token compensation. Please wait a moment for the hotel to arrange for suitable accommodation. Mr. Aventurine has an appointment with the Oak family and has checked in prior. On his behalf, I extend his apologies to everyone of the Astral Express and wish for an amicable partnership moving forward. Thank you for stepping in to resolve this matter. But are you sure about the rooms? I wouldn't want your other guests to feel we were being given preferential treatment. Please, rest assured that the family will personally undertake communications to handle this. It is only right that we, as the actual administrators, relieve you of any problems during your visit in Penacone. I apologize for taking up everyone's precious time, and we shan't keep you any longer. If you need anything else while in Penacone, the family stands ready to serve. May your dreams be beautiful and pleasant. Oh, it's just one surprise after Hi, another. Hi, Deepa. But since that Mr... Oh, which day was he? Sunday, <laughs> since Mr. Sunday's vouched for us... Which day was he? Normally? Um, I'm already a little winded. I hope we don't run into any more trouble. Are all the family names so strange? Uh, this is just a stage name. I guess. I thought so too. It's most likely some rule of Penacone's or the family's. I hope that she has a moment where she's okay, just like, what's no happening on Sunday? Life. Let's go find <laughs> Miss Allie. Very low, Lori coded rate. Listen, I don't blame her, okay? I don't blame her for not remembering. Like, why are you named after a day? Weirdo. <laughs> Just kidding. <sighs> Esteemed <sighs> guests of the Astral Express, your check-in procedure is complete. 
Please forgive us for any previous inconvenience caused. This is your Dreamscape Pass. <gasps> it serves as your hotel room key, as well as a directory of all the amenities. We really are staying at a Disney resort. At the Reverie. I love this. It even provides smart assistance. At the same time, it is also Penacone's special, one of a kind souvenir that belongs only to you. You can use the Dreamscape Pass's provided clocked in feature to record every moment of your wonderful dream. Save your favorite happy bits and create a Dreamscape scrapbook that is uniquely yours. This is so funny. Regarding the method of usage, the Dreamscape Pass will guide you through the process. I wish you all pleasant dreams in Penacone. You may take the elevator over there to reach your guest rooms. All right, let's move out. It's so Disney coded, it really is. Uh, once a check-in at the front desk completed, this program will automatically appear on the guest communication device. No one knows whether this is infringement of personal privacy. <laughs> no one has ever asked. Luckily, it's safe enough and interesting enough. Two million and three hundred thousand five-star reviews. The family guarantees that there are no fake reviews. <laughs> what is going on? You receive the Dreamscape pass from the hotel. Okay. Is an application automatically installed on your phone? Click here to open it. Excuse me? Dear Dream Chaser, welcome to, to Panacone. From the moment you set foot in the reverie, a splendid and dreamlike journey, it is not easy to put down the hustle and bustle and extraordinary courage is needed uh, to make the choice to full heartedly embrace the dream. We have the confidence to promise that thanks to the family's most meticulous management, only sweet nectar and melodious tunes await you ahead. We wish for you to leave behind all the worries of your mortal life, open a bottle of classic Soul Glad, and settle down to immerse. Okay, keep viewing. Maintain a calm mind. Intense emotional pleasure to cause unexpected sensation when entering. Please enter the dream lying on your. Bl oh, okay. Please do not ingest any hypnotics beforehand. The dreaming fluid in the dream pool is already a fast acting sedative and does not need external pharmaceutical assistance. Please do not enter the dream naked. Your initial appearance in the dreamscape is the same as how you entered it. In order to not startle other visitors, please enter the dream only after you've ensured that you're appropriately dressed. Uh, please do not assume the identity of another vigil. The family respects every guest's identity and privacy. Please do not impersonate, attack, or defame other guests in the dream. I love this. Uh, during this present period, the Reverie Hotel and there's an opportunity in the golden hour. You'll stay awake. I'm just to apologize for any conveniences. Okay. New handbook page unlocked the reverie. Uh, well, long as you progress through the trail, let's record everything as you counter. Another thrilling trailblazing expedition is about to begin. The start to this adventure does not take place upon white sheets of snow nor the imperious heights of the Xianzhou. Aside from the riddle seeking men and women, all seem to be well. Speaking of it, it appears no one has asked a certain question. What kind of trip do you enjoy? Okay. Straight toward local tourist destinations, some of the day away with the room, follow the passing currents of other pedestrians. That's me. Um, you've, you always speed toward the local site with the greatest renown. What a commendable go-getter you are. Traveling with you must be experience full of adventures and excitement. Though come to think of it, your role might then clash with March 7th. So maybe you should reconsider your personal purpose and make yourself a woman that offers novelty as their worth. You can decorate the page. That's a right. Oh my goodness. Delete. <gasps> Robin, though. She's so pretty. And hold on. I love it. An East Trilling journey of voice speed trying the local side go. Oh wait, we're at that one. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Dolce, I um I deleted I deleted him so like, you know, he, you could have him. And you know, we're just so I'm not hogging him, you know what I mean? That's all. What's this? I, I love that I keep asking that. What's this? It's a, it's a, wait, do we, how many gems do we get from drops?
Be closer, the most handsome man. True, yes. The we really, we really got the Disney World app installed on our phone. This is so funny. Okay. Ooh, this a dream world. I heard that Penacony transformed the dreamscape into a majestic metropolis. What exactly would that look like? Oh, I can't wait. The VIP room. Could have even come or would he have to be the to be dragon mode? Oh yeah. The guy. <clears throat> down this way this is a long hallway is it just me or is this hotel too big for its own good <laughs> I like that they're shaped like like keyholes too wait what dr. blues you come face to face with the bluebird but it does not look like it's going to speak anytime soon who are you Obviously, I'm an origami bird. You can call me Dr. Blues. What's an origami bird? An origami bird is a bird made of folded paper. Haven't you watched Clocky? I have no time to explain the settings. You can ask those birds on the great tree origami birds gathering spot. When you've helped them find the required number of origami birds, I'll give you rewards. This is written under the storyline section. <laughs> the birdie flaps its wings at you, supposedly trying to urge you to go. What the heck? They are very cute. I was trying to see if there are more boxes. There are. I might have done a thing and I might have fucked up. I might be fucked? I was in an MSQ place and I got distracted and I was like, oh, I should farm mats and now I can't go back. To <gasps> what? How can you not go back? Oh no. What? That's not good. Oh, wait, hold on. I keep thinking that I'm like, oh, you know what? Let me reassign, um, Cause I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna need some other stuff here. Uh, what is this? This is character ascension materials. These are all. Are ascension materials used as talents, talent stuff too? They are. It says not activated. What the heck? Wait, what am I doing? I said talents, but I, I meant traces. Um, oh my god, I'm not gonna remember. I need obsidian desolation, obsidian thingy-mabobs. And then I need these glimmering core thingy-mabobs. Um. Wait. These make the cores, right? Wait, do I have, I can, I'm confusing myself.
Which one of these, which one of these makes Kafka stuff? The first two? Okay, cool. Thank you. Um, does anyone know which one of these does Gwen's? Gwen's? Still don't know how to pronounce her name. One day. One day I'll get it. Artifacts module. Immortal cyanet. Ancient part. Silver main badge. Should also be the... Okay, okay, top two. Thank you. Then I'll just get some more leveling stuff because I'm starting to run out. I'm, like, struggling. Um, these are for light cones. I also need some of these, too. All right, there we go. Finally here. Let's all head to our rooms first and put down our bags. Yeah, I got them all, Effigy. Well, how about a drink first? Penicone's Soul Glad is very famous. Go on. We may be thinking of the same thing. Do you remember the invite that the Express received? The family's esteemed guests are cordially invited to Benaconi to participate in our grand celebration. That's why we're here in the first place. You recall correctly, but there was more to this invite. Witness the impossible in the realm of dreams. Find the legacy of the Watchmaker, father of Penaconi, and thus the answer to the question, why does life slumber? <laughs> I don't remember that part of the invite. You mean there was a, a hidden message? This is the part that intrigues me. The invite sent by the family was nothing more than a music box that when wound would play an accompanying tune. But the box that was sent to us was slightly unusual. The music it played had off-key notes in the background. I recorded these dissonant notes, and they were a perfect match with the gravity wave frequency when the Express made its warp jump. Also, the Express engine's spatial curvature was its encryption key. A distress call method regularly used by the Nameless. I can't be certain. It may be a masked fool's trap. From the execution itself, the Riddlers or Inquisition spirits could have done this themselves. When did you discover this? When we were handling that Lawfu Stellaron matter. I told Pom Pom about it first thing. It's no wonder that IPC Ambassador also mentioned this watchmaker. The invite he received must also have contained a hidden message, and it seems like he decoded it. There's something else on my mind. When the invite was brought up, that family leader mentioned being one of the actual administrators of Penaconi, and that it was their duty to relieve us of any problems. In hindsight, there was more to that statement. He also had Miss Robin with him. I'm no singer, but her voice sounded a little strange. Would a singer really take to the stage if their voice wasn't in top shape? Are you saying you suspect that the family did not send the invite and is hiding something from us? It's possible. 
The fact that the family sent out invites to the other factions is already unusual. And your discovery confirms that there could be a third party involved. I take back what I said. This event is becoming more interesting with each passing second. Why didn't you tell the others? We shouldn't interfere if this is just an internal affair of Penicone or the family. But you said so yourself. This could concern the Trailblaze. Well, I did. Which is why... Before we set off, I told March 7th and Don Hung about this. <laughs> so I was the only one kept in the dark then. I too just found out about the invite thingy. <laughs> Ain't no biggie when galactic baseballer is in the house. Oh my god. Um, time to get involved. I'm gonna say this one. We're so silly and goofy. Penacone's situation is getting complicated. Right, Let's we just got here right and over. things are getting real interesting. The invite. What is the purpose of gathering all of the factions into Penacone? And why does the family choose to remain silent about their knowledge of this? There are too many unanswered questions. We must use the utmost caution before we go deeper. Right now, let's just focus on the conductor's request. We'll collect intel while enjoying this wonderful vacation. Penacone is, after all, a famed resort of the cosmos. Not many get a chance to even visit in their lifetime. Head back to your rooms, get some rest, and prepare to enter the dreamscape. I do wonder if they were trying to... to Before entering the dream, I should probably talk to the rest. Like, I wonder if they were trying to kind of like recreate this like Disney experience, um, but they also were aware that they needed to make sure that they were not um, getting in trouble with the mouse. <laughs> Um, <laughs> suddenly we're Maleficent if Disney was Vegas, right? Effigy, why did you text me that? I'm confused. Can you can you message me that in Discord? Cause like I don't I don't have my phone down here either. I don't know where I put my phone. Greetings, beautiful lady. It is an honor to meet such a beautiful guest as yourself. Allow me to prepare a drink for you. Well, this recipe is improved based on that famous Galaxy Rangers recipe. Rum, soda, lime, mint, and a touch of sugar, and you will get a unique mix. Galactic Mojito Voyager. Um, I actually kind of want to make this. This sounds really great. Uh, sounds good! I had a feeling you would enjoy it. I see you are not quite accustomed to this place. Are you new to Pinaconi? If you are not in a rush to enter the dream world, please feel free to frequent here. This small bar has a huge stage. With so many customers here, this place is a vast re repository of information and a fertile ground for stories. If you have questions or seeking information, please come here and order a drink. Oh, a drink for a story. I guarantee my stories will satisfy your curiosity. And of course, if you have splendid stories to exchange for drinks, I'd be delighted to hear them. Here, this is on the house. Don't forget to come here often. What you got? Pika white grape soda. White grapes taste both sour and bitter. It serves as a remedy of summer heat. It feels like a cold hand. Pika pika achu. Pika pika achu. Now, why did they do that? <laughs> Are they trying to get sued by Pokemon now? <laughs> Oh my god.
like Hoyaverse really said, you know what? We're gonna we're gonna test it. <laughs> we're gonna see how far we can go. <laughs> uh... Um. Okay. What's wrong? Not turning in? Can't find your room? Or do you have something on your mind? About the Watchmaker. One can't discuss the planet of festivities without mentioning the Watchmaker. Penicone's household name and figure. Fortune, fame, status. He built everyone's futures with his bare hands and became the symbol of dreams. But the veracity of these stories remains untraceable. Many have their own opinions on the Watchmaker's origin and past. And there are even some who suspect he's a conceptual construct of the family. For now, I do not think this invite is linked to the Watchmaker. His legacy... It sounds more like a marketing hook to drum up more traffic, if nothing else. Um, about that IPC representative. Uh, an IPC ambassador who knows more than he lets on. A silver-tongued businessman, a flamboyant and debonair aristocrat, he could be all of them. My instincts tell me he's much more than meets the eye. Before the dust settles, we should maintain amicable relations with all camps, while keeping our guards up. About the dream journey. The dream Penicone is divided into 12 individual dreamscapes. I've heard that the destinations vary for different people when they first enter the dream. As for me, I look forward to the moment of scorched sand. Its wild winds, taverns, and festive choices have more of a nameless trailblaze vibe. The moment of morning dew is also a decent choice. I can use that chance to visit the family. Uh, you must be exhausted from everything that's happened so far. Even if you're trailblazing, you mustn't forget to relax. Good night, and sweet dreams. Um... Yeah, yeah, actually, I was just gonna do that, too, just because of... Um, stuff that's happening. Okay, um, yeah, let's take a quick five, y'all. I'm going to get up, stretch, use the restroom. Um, you also do what you need to do, take some time to yourself, and we'll be back shortly, like in about five-ish minutes or so. Um, I might actually go grab my lunch, too, because I'm getting kind of hungry. Uh, but, yeah, just go go take a break, get up, stretch, eat something yourself, get a, get a drink, um, swap your laundry, take your meds, whatever you need to do, go do it. And we'll be back shortly. Welcome in, Fabled. Um, yeah, let's do our... Let's do our screenshots. I have new screenshots as well. I really need to organize all of my Honkai Star Rail screenshots because they're literally all over the place. I did not intend on taking as many screenshots as I have, so I didn't make like a folder like I did with Genshin. Uh, I need to make a folder like very badly because this is getting, this is getting really silly. There are so many pictures everywhere. Okay, there we go. We'll be back in like about five minutes, y'all. Enjoy your break. That I was like, it's gonna be five minutes. But then I took my break and I was like, wait a minute, I'm actually really hungry. So I just went ahead and I made my lunch. <laughs> so I devoured my lunch.
Okay, I'm just moving our stuff. What's that? <gasps> I think my new, my new perfume is here. I'm so excited. Oh my god. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm pretty sure my that's my new perfume. Ooh, I'll I'll open it on stream. <clears throat> Lonely pianist. Mm hmm. When your gaze. Oh wait, I thought I thought he was singing. When your gaze falls on the piano, the first thing that captures your attention is a pair of hands. Well maintained and adorned with slender knuckles, they flutter and leap, creating waves of black and white. The waves carry intermittent, intermittent whispers, and you observe the green notes emerging into the water, lonesomely yet elegantly. Deeply captivated, you follow the <laughs> when your gaze. <laughs> Finally, you look up and catch a glimpse of the pianist himself. His neck is is bowed. Can you open it for me? Wait, hold on, y'all. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. For my perfume girlies out there, I got a sample of Baccarat Rouge. Just sniffed it. I'm so fucked. It smells so good. I also, um, I got two new scents that I'm really excited about. Uh, this is like so unrelated to Genshin. Or Genshin? Wow. We're d we don't play that right now. Um, anyway, um, I got the... Giordani di Toscana, Bianco Latte, and then I also got Gritty's Gossip Night. <laughs> it is, in fact, unrelated to Genshin. <laughs> um, but uh, I, I am so unfortunate to say, it's so unfortunate to say that Baccarat Rouge does actually smell amazing, and I don't know why they they did that okay so i'm opening gossip night first i hope this smells good i'm, I'm nervous about it Ooh, it's very pretty nobody asked for unboxing but i'm doing it anyway so um you know <gasps> oh no it smells so good It smells like mangoes and like, oh, I need to wait for that to dry down, but it smells really good already. 
I got I got two new perfumes, Babs. I got Gritty's Gossip Night and uh, Giordani di Toscana's Bianco Latte. Oh, I what the? Once again, nobody asked for this, but I'm doing it anyway. This is Bianco Latte. Ooh, that's pretty. We're gonna do the other arm. Uh, it smells good. It smells like vanilla. Oh. Mm. Oh, that doesn't have any business smelling so good. Okay, these are both wins. These are both wins for me. They were uh, they were absolutely blind buys. So uh, it would have it would have been terrible if they smelled like shit. <laughs> but they smell they smell so good. Oh my god. Okay, anyway, um, his neck is bowed, his head swaying as if he has entered a trance, reading to the keys with, his own, with only his hands, and so you continue to chase after his musical tones. Together you traverse the darkness at the bottom of the lake, the deep blue of the eternal... I can smell me! Um, and the cold white of the lonesome moon. Before you know it, the music reaches its conclusion. Abruptly you wake and leaving the notes and their creator to continue their eternal journey. You love vanilla scent? Oh my God, Dolce! I think you're really gonna like this one. Um, if you if you like vanilla scents, it's it's vanilla. Oh my God, the dry down is amazing. It's vanilla, but like it's there's like so much more there. It's mm, I'll send you a link. Hopefully they're oh it's it's currently back ordered. Yeah, it's back ordered, but it smells really good. Oh my god, that one smells really good too. <laughs> uh, I love fragrances, I'm sorry. This is such a random thing. Ooh, wait, hold on, stuff to collect. Still got so much stuff to do at the office. My name is Laurie Maprons or she, her. I'm a full time content creator here on Twitch and also on YouTube. And I'm so honored to be a part of the, uh, the Twitch Black Guilds Black History Month raid train. Thank you so much for the raid. I really appreciate it. Um, for all of y'all coming in, um, hold on. Queen, please be quiet. Oh my God, don't interrupt. <laughs> For anyone uh, coming in, um, this this month for Twitch Twitch Black Guild, we're doing a uh, focus on um, historical uh, Black folks uh, for like just uh, picking a figure and talking about them. So for mine, I actually picked uh, Lydia Newman. Um, I really connected with her when I learned about her because. Um, she was a female black inventor who patented the first hairbrush with synthetic bristles, which is so cool to me because I had no idea um, that like there was there was so much like animal animal bristles being used, and the person who patented the the first brush without like animal fibers was a black woman. So and like I've talked about like my journey with hair and stuff in here and. 
how I always struggled with my hair and how I always felt different from people. So I really connected with her. And she was also big into activism as well um, for women's voting rights. Like, she's incredible. So um, who was your pick? I'm doing good. Welcome, everyone. Hi. I'm so excited. <laughs> Hello, welcome in. Hi, I am I I am a like like ads. Um, Alice Earwax, hello, welcome in. Schiller, hi, welcome. Gray over, hi, welcome. Stuff of anime, hello. Meadow, Dan's Nikki on Vegas, hi, welcome in. Thank you so much for the raid. I really do appreciate it. An artist named Augusta Savage. Oh, cool. That's really neat. Yeah, I was like, when I was looking, um, I was just, I really connected with her, like her journey and everything about her is just, just amazing, especially since I'm really struggling with my hair right now. <laughs> uh, but yeah, for anyone coming in, um, I mostly stream uh, RPGs. Um, I do focus on JRPGs. And I also really love Hoyoverse games. I used to stream Genshin Impact um, exclusively for like like two years. And then I decided that I was kind of like over it. And I still go back to um, Genshin when there's like big story, but I mostly do focus on RPGs here. And I just got into Honkai Star Rail and it is an incredible game. I'm having so much fun with it. So we're exploring new content today. So if that sounds like something, you want to uh, you want to hang out, lurk? Feel free to do so. We're just vibing here. So yeah, she created and taught during the Harlem Renaissance. Ooh, that's really cool. I I love all of the uh, like learning all about all of the the new historical figures that I um I haven't heard about. I just I I love this idea. It's so cool. All right, we're going to um, continue on with the class since I'm like so interested. Sorry, I was like, I just finished my lunch hey, and I'm still like eating stuff. Also, this is so random, but I got two new perfumes today and they smell so good. I keep smelling myself. Odd. Why is my, hmm? He's. Um, you came to the wrong room. <laughs> we meet again. Sunday's room is on the other side. Is this your room? <laughs> Calm down. I'm just here to soak in the festive vibe. This may be your room now, but half a system hour ago, it was still mine. Mm. A lucky block number, a lucky floor, a lucky room number. You have no idea how much I went through to book this precious space. And now I've given it to you. Treasure it well, friend. You were the one who transferred it to me. You were the one who arranged the check-in. Well, it doesn't matter. You need to leave. <laughs> oh, I'm not sure I like that tone. Pentagoni's a true blue land of- He says so anyway. How many across the stars would spend half their lives just to acquire an admission ticket into the reverie? <laughs> I mean, think about the type of people who can even afford to stay here. If it wasn't for my brilliant plan, you think the family would offend those bigwigs just to sate the paltry whims of an unsought guest such as yourself? So sit down and let's have a chat. With everything said and done, I think I deserve at least this much, right? Um, what do you want to talk about? You should go talk to Himiko or well. <laughs> Wrong. You're the one I seek. Well, simply put, my friend, I need your help. You may or may not know this, but Panacone's far murkier than it seems. 
The family's eyes Why are, are everywhere, but you get the drift. My goal is simple. Help the IPC retrieve some things that belong to them in the first place. If you agree, when this is done, you will stand to reap great rewards. As well as the I'm not helping the IPC? Protection. It's clear you're not just one of the crowd. You possess a distinct quality. So magnetic that it could sway the outcome of any game. That power, you really don't wish to use it. Or, you don't want to be rid of it. Why not use it to etch your name across the stars? The power that men both fear and desire is right in the palms of your hands. Miss Stellaron, have I hit the nail on the head? How'd you know? I don't know what you're talking about. I'm warning you. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep, I'm gonna keep messing. I'm gonna keep messing with him. Um. <clears throat> Hi, Anna. Listen, we hate the IPC, but if baby girl is asking, then maybe the IPC mustn't be bad, right? Not that. Now, now, now hold on now. I know y'all would, I know y'all are not out here uh, 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 being okay with capitalism. Not, no, not because of this man. Now, hold on a minute. <laughs> also, this is um, really quick. Did we get a, do we get a shout out as well for gray overcast start? Can we please get a shout out if we didn't already? Please, please and go, please and go. Wow. Please go and, and check her out as well if y'all have not already. Also, hi Frosty, how are you? I want that twink obliterated. <laughs> He's gay, it's different. What? Do I like Topaz? I do like Topaz, but I do I do think that I like Topaz more once she went against the IPC at the at the end there. Thank you. No, thank you so much. I hope you had a great stream. <laughs> it's always the cops and capitalists. Come on. No. <laughs> Get it together. Okay, I'm warning you, you need to leave. <laughs> warning me? <laughs> oh, you're too funny. You don't have to answer me now. Sit on it for a while. When the time is right, I will look for you again. Of course, you can confer with your colleagues as well, or go as far as to use me in turn. I welcome that notion, because it will also show me your true value. I don't do deals where I'm on the losing end, so I hope that friends don't let me down. He sounds like he's straight up gonna blackmail us. You should really be going. I already said there's no rush to give me an answer. <laughs> he's just ignoring me. Because no matter what happens, the outcome will remain. I'm the dying. Same. Oh yes, before I go, let's play another game. A simple game to get to know each other better. You just have to guess which hand the chip is hiding in. It'll help me get a better grasp on your personality and the way you do things. <laughs> a chip is tossed in the air and the blinks of eye disappears. Left or right? Get ready. I'm about to reveal the answer. Like, I believe that. No? I didn't get your answer, oh, but that's fine because friend, the game has already begun. Oh my God! Offer one you can't refuse. No reason to choose otherwise, and no other choice. Hello. Huh? Save me! What are you doing? In my room. Save me, white girl! Save me! Your room. 
Well played, friend. You haven't been in Penacony long, but you already know how to rope people into your cause. Oh, don't misunderstand. That was a mere reminder. This place runs deep with plenty of unsavory characters. Don't forget to stay on your toes. Me being saved by a woman? Like, keeping your door closed. Thank goodness. <laughs> I'll make my exit now. <clears throat> Have a pleasant stay. <laughs> Thank you! <sighs> Why haven't you left? Oh. Why haven't you left? Eh. I said, why haven't you left? <laughs> I was just teasing. You're talking to me in red again! This is indeed your room. I saw that man snooping about while I was in the hallway. Didn't seem like he was searching for his own room, so it made me wary. I love that she was, she's protecting me. Oh my God, thank you. I later saw you walking into the same room, so I began to connect the dots. The situation got a bit tense. I'm gonna start speaking in I red to people. I hope you don't mind that I pulled this stunt. I have a strange feeling about Anyways, this. Anyways, as long as you're all right. I should return to my room too. But before I go, can I ask you a question? You may think it's somewhat strange, perhaps even rude. But I wish to know, have we met somewhere before? <laughs> I was, I was about to ask too. This may sound embarrassing because I would sometimes forget stuff I really shouldn't have from past experiences. It's just a habit of mine. Don't mind me. This is your name, isn't it? Pleased to meet you. I'm that famous now? <laughs> you forget. That man mentioned it before he left. My memory's not very good, but it's not so bad that I can't remember details from just minutes ago. Galaxy Ranger Acheron. This is Space what they call me. Ranger. You can call me whatever you want. I doubt we'll meet again. I don't I don't Lastly, think so. Like we keep meeting, homegirl. There are people who possess unwavering resolution and faith, even unto death, and they do not wield such conviction for good. And on that man's face, I see such a similar expression. I trust her with my life. One who wears a blade must use it to cut eventually. And when a gambler has nothing to lose on the table, he will surely go for broke and bet it all on a final hand. That is all I can say. I thought you should know all this before making a choice. Goodbye. I choose women. Women supporting women. <laughs> Strange. I can't shake off this odd feeling I have. Forget it. It's taken a while, but at least I can finally enter the dream. Hmm? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it didn't take long for a reunion. Mm. Sorry, can you point me in the direction of the lobby? All these hallways really look the same to me. I, I love her. I love her. She's doing her best and she's got bad memory. <laughs> Seems like it's over. Time to work the dream pool according to the dreamscape. Passes instructions. He has terrible memory because we, we both will be going the whole time. Right, right. <laughs> Did her cool off in the wrong direction. She's so funny. Now, who's the cop lover? Wait, how's she a cop? What? She's a space ranger. Like Buzz Lightyear. Is, is Buzz the Lightyear guy? a cop? <clears throat> I never the thought about it before. Loud, performers crowd round. <laughs> hey, that sounded pretty good. <laughs> Oh my God, wait, wait. I never thought about it. Buzz Lightyear is a cop. Oh, oh, oh I'm, you know what? Yeah, what about it, Dolce? Okay, fine. <laughs> what about it? 
one one cop and that's and that's Akron. Just one. <laughs> I need to give her Wait, can I not have I can't give her her own page? <laughs> yeah, except Buzz Lightyear. Reverse misogyny? There's no such thing as reverse misogyny. Excuse me. Um. <laughs> How do you feel about Buzz Lightyear? This is a litmus test. <laughs> Help. Oh my god, Woody, Woody, that's right. No, 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 Woody absolutely is a cop because he's a sheriff, yeah. Didn't he get his job taken though? Wait, I need to, hello? Okay, thank you. Not, not you defending Woody, no! He was about to, wasn't he, wasn't he trying, he was trying to put Buzz Lightyear in jail. I haven't seen Toy Story in forever, was he? Toy Story is a funny cop. <laughs> oh. Oh. I can't watch Toy Story anymore. No, this is all messed up. Not how do we feel about Buzz Lightyear? Oh my. <laughs> Listen, he did not have you, Okay, who's seen Lightyear? Because like I feel like that was a little bit different, right? Yeah, he was and wouldn't you hate a white man stealing your place too? Oh my no! No, because well what Woody was too! What Oh, I'm about to I'm about to get up on the I'm about to get up on the stand. I'm about to We're about to have an entire trial in here. Okay, we're lying down. Curl your body in the what? Gentle female voice continues to whisper in your ear, accompanied by the tolling of evening bells. The wild woman rushes through something of the choir. Okay. Pendulum swings. You wonder what dream you'll delve into and slowly drift into drowsiness. Oh my god, this is so. It is. Please relax. Feel I would never be able to do this. <laughs> Sleeping in water? Just focus on breathing hmm. and imagine you're in paradise. Imagine a dreamland. <laughs> no, my sensory issues would go wild. There is not a character in this game named Mikhail. What are you doing? Are we? Uh, what is it, Ratio? Why the long face? Hey, I just realized. Where's that handsome? I thought he was in my room. I was gonna say. Where's that? He's. He is like. Um. Listen, I do. I understand, you know what this reminds me of? You know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of um, the gays that unfortunately have to go to work at Chick-fil-A because like we wanna support adventuring, but his ass is working for the IPC and he is like all in the IPC. Like that's, that's where we're at right now. Okay, adventuring is working at Chick-fil-A but he doesn't have a choice, I'm sure. <laughs> You're late. By four minutes and 16 seconds. You better have solved the mystery of Akavili's fall. Otherwise, I suggest not tangling with the nameless. <laughs> you mean you don't believe me when I say I truly wish to befriend them? <laughs> Clamorous people do not make friends. Fun fact, the Atini Peacock boasts one of the universe's more jarring songs, and... Your choice of attire is somewhat peacock-esque. <laughs> <laughs> it seems this peacock is short of a feather or two. 
The family's been rummaging through your things, haven't they? Yeah, by that gray-suited fellow. All the cash gifts and the box containing the cornerstones. Huh? Where are you going? Back home. To tell the corporation that some idiot ruined everything. <laughs> <laughs> it's nothing more than a few rocks. Why so serious? <laughs> Who cares if they're gone? Without that aventurine stone, you're nothing more than a doomed Sigonian thrall, sentenced to die by the IPC. The girlies are or fighting! Is on your neck, a cherished memento from the Amber Lore? <laughs> you're funny, I'll give you that. It appears our erudite friend has done his homework. It's my job. How would a gambler wrest Penicone back from the IPC otherwise? Well, don't worry, Doctor. I have my ways. The family fears interference from the IPC, hence their constant intervention. Or to play devil's advocate, perhaps Penicone might have always been a ruse under the guise of the Harmony. If you ask me, that invite is nothing but a self-planted diversion. A red herring. Or... Maybe they're thinking of pulling off something big during the Charmony Festival. Or someone else made the invite, and they acquiesced to elevating the magnitude of the plan. <laughs> well, regardless, be it the family or the Watchmaker's legacy, as long as they're all useful to me. Get to the point. What's your plan? <laughs> well, no need to expand on that now. It's not yet time to reveal my trump card. <laughs> Damned gambler. <laughs> Any true collaboration demands trust. Did that notion somehow escape your Sigonian upbringing? <laughs> then, do you trust me? That depends on you. Hmm, so you don't trust me either. Now that was easy, wasn't it? Also, I didn't go to school, and my parents didn't teach me any of that. Not him trauma dumping. Pity. They left before they could impart any life lessons. I did not mean to offend. Oh, he's being nice. None taken. But they did teach <clears> me <throat> that friends are weapons of the Avgens. Even under the watchful eye of the Harmony, our friends' performances have Why far exceeded friends like my that? expectations. Let's see. The Garden of Recollection and the Astral Express have already made contact. The Annihilation Gang, I can't really count on them. The Knights of Beauty haven't given their answer, and as for the bunch at the tavern... Speaking of which, I ran into a woman just now who introduced herself as a Galaxy Ranger. The whole conversation felt... off. I hope all of the LGBTs come together in the end. Huh? Oh, he's gone! <laughs> <laughs> well, you don't really disdain me that much, do you? Well... Seems like I'm on my own again. So this is the dreamscape? What if I... The atmosphere here creeps me out and... What if I did what something... Weird what if I did something now? silly? A uh, note? The impossible can also happen in dreams. Find it and then you shall be granted an audience. This way! Can you see me? Over here! Oh, also going Please, back to the whole way. Mikhail thing. I thought I heard a familiar voice. Um, the reason why I mention it is it because, because Mikhail was in Xenoblade. No spoilers, but if you've played Xenoblade, then you already know. So, the name Mikhail kind of traumatizes me a little bit. Um, <clears throat> I was thinking about doing something silly, like, like, building Dr. Ratio. Wait, did I already watch the, or er, do this? 
Hotel. Under construction. Please, receive instructions from the home service. Ask and enter the through the designated. Hi, Zant. <laughs> How low you've come. <laughs> Dolce. <laughs> listen. Listen, 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 listen. Um, my, I feel like this game is putting me through it because I keep having these huge character arcs for these characters. Like I went from like not feeling any type of way for Don Hung to now he's the love of my life. I went from um, absolutely uh, adoring and backing everything that March 7th said, and now I'm like, you know what? She's, I like her, but sometimes, like, she's that friend that just won't won't stop yapping sometimes. Like, just, just what are you yapping about, you know? Like, so, um, there's there's that, and and now here I am with Dr. Ratio. <laughs> I can't wait for Lori to E6 and adventuring. Right, I'm actually I'm actually kind of uh, curious about where I'm gonna be at with adventuring now because right now I don't trust that man. I listen, y'all. I've already said after the whole Topaz thing, I've got a bone to pick with the IPC. After watching that live stream yesterday, my bone is even my bone that I need to pick is even bigger with the IPC. So anyone that is a bootlicker for the IPC at this at this point, I don't like them. Uh, I don't like them. I I had I was like not feeling Topaz until the end of the Bellabog interlude, and then I felt much better about Topaz because she stopped being a bootlicker. So um, we I got to see what happens here. <laughs> Someone has redeemed pronouns in chats. Um, if you'd like to, you feel comfy, go ahead and tell us your pronouns. This is a way to help normalize introducing ourselves with pronouns, and if you're experimenting with new ones, a safe place to do so, mine or she, her. Um, the self-loathing. I generally like every character, even the ones I hate, because they do a good job, yeah. No, I just got a problem, I got a problem with the IPC, and anyone that is super um, die hard for the IPC, I got a bone to pick with them. But we'll see. I'm sure, I, I have a feeling that maybe adventuring will change. So, possibly. We'll see. Gambling weird, I'm like, I love you. <laughs> oh, the way you switch it up? No, Dr. Ratio absolutely does want to take down the IPC. Like, and after after this interaction too, I actually really like Dr. Ratio now. Not because like he was like specifically mean to adventuring, Here. but because of the Why things that he said, like in regards to oh, I, I like the IPC and stuff. Me. So. Welcome to the Gallery of Thoughts. You can think of this as the entrance to the golden hour. I'm here to provide guidance to our guests. We meet again. This is really pretty. Huh? You remember me? I'm so glad. This is a temporary interchange, so it looks a little rundown. The reverie in the dreamscape is currently undergoing a revamp. I apologize for any unpleasantness in your stay, but if you enter the golden hour, I'm sure all your troubles will dissipate in an instant. Uh, what happened to the reverie? What is golden hour? I just picked up a note. Oh, you're asking about the reverie in the dreamscape, right? I'm not sure exactly either. I'm sorry. What is golden hour? You've perhaps read about it in your dreamscape past, but I can explain it one more time. Golden Hour is one of the 12 dreamscapes in Penacony, and its time coincides with midnight. Here, the dream's time is forever stuck in the moment before midnight. Tomorrow will not come, and this night of revelry will never end. Uh, but that doesn't mean that time is stopped in the dream. To avoid any physical or mental burden on guests, time in the dream has been synced with realities. So don't worry. 
I just picked up a note. Note? Did you find it in the room? Uh, it wasn't trash left behind by the previous guest, was it? It was my mistake. I failed to tidy up properly and caused an inconvenience for you. I'm truly sorry. You're fine. You just go right through that door to reach Golden Hour. I wish. Okay, unforgettable dream. Um. <laughs> he immediately deflated. Yeah, I mean, I think that's why. That's that's another reason why I actually ended up. Like at this point, like that completely changed how I feel about Doctor Doctor uh, Ratio, um, because like he clearly was empathetic about what he said. He was just like, "Oh, sorry for coming after uh, you know your childhood." Like I didn't realize that like you were an orphan. Sorry. <laughs> so I I I liked that a lot. The tattoo number. On adventuring, gave me some Wattpad fanfic vibes. <laughs> Whole game in the end just destroys the IPC from within. His last sentence before he blows it up is, "Only idiots believe the big corporation is good." Oh my god, that would that would take him to probably a favorite character if like he did something like that. Like I'm actually excited to see where they go. Behind this door is the real Penacony. I'm looking forward to it. He better not embarrass me somehow by the end of the story. Oh. 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 Huh? <gasps> Look at the siblings down there! I see them! <laughs> Are we about to die? <laughs> What's that? What happened? What? Huh? I love that people are just like continuing on like, ooh, that was a little that was a little weird, but anyway. <laughs> Look at Deb! Are you alright? Yeah, actually that is a good comparison. Yeah, he does kind of remind me of Al Haytham. I can I can see that. The fall didn't hurt at all. I think I'm hallucinating. Are we in heaven or <laughs> there is nothing to worry about. You've arrived at the dreamscape. <laughs> Seems like our guest here hasn't gotten used to the transition. Fret not. Feeling a sense of weightlessness is normal for new visitors. Robin. Please guide our friend in getting more comfortable with the new environment. Leave it to me. Smells like to Mighty vortex emerging from the depths of the pool? Imagine depths as your body dissolves, becoming one with the fluidity of time and space. You resonate with and become attuned to the serene fusion of frequencies. Your heart drums, leading the symphony. Don't worry. Just relax. You'll be feeling like your normal self in no time. Inhale. Now exhale. Gentle warmth emanates from within, saturating every inch of your being. Your melodies slow down, fade away like a lullaby. A seven-colored illusion delicately caresses the top of your head and closes your eyes. Its movement's tender and compassionate. You feel contentment and drift into a deep slumber. You open your eyes and feel a vitality like no other. The difficulty you experienced a moment earlier feels like a distant memory. You be feeling fully in control now. <laughs> Welcome to Penacony. What'd she do to me? Why does, what does that mean? What did you just do to me? Did you just brainwash me? What was that just, what, what? I merely changed your state of mind. For you to feel more at ease. Relax. Just did some tuning on you with the resonance of the harmony to allow you to control your limbs freely in the dreamscape. 
Essentially, the dream of Panacone is a world formed by memoria. Only by fully understanding its nature can you move freely within it. It's like learning to swim. It's easy to sink at first when you aren't accustomed to the water, but once you get the hang of it, you can float and swim on the surface effortlessly. Does that mean I can levitate in the air? Well, theoretically you can, but it would be very difficult to pull off. After all, we don't really have an in-depth understanding of the Memoria yet. Unless you're one of the memo keepers of the Garden of Recollection, it can be difficult at first to manipulate the Memoria as you wish. But once you've been tuned by the Harmony, you can use the same laws of physics from the real world to understand how the dream world works. Oh, oops. <laughs> I've fallen into my professional habits again. Sorry, I keep smelling myself. I, I just I smell really good. Urge to be a know-it-all. <laughs> I can't shake off this urge to be a know-it-all. Like that. Please enjoy the beautiful dreamscape the family has built for everyone. You know what? We shall take our leave. Have you know blast. what? I get that. I I get that. I, too, cannot fight off the urge sometimes to be a know-it-all. <laughs> we can send messages even in the dream. You there that? Are you there yet? Not yet. Liar. I just got in touch with Himiko and Mr. Yang. They all went to different dreamscapes. I'm at the moment of dusk. I'm planning to check out the auction. It's going to be a pain to meet up again, so why don't we split up for now? You're at the Golden Hour? I heard the Dreamscape scale store there is super famous. Can you please check it out for me, pretty please? If it's really fun, then I'll head over there next. Check the VOD later. No worries, Stara. Have a good time. Thank you for hanging out. <laughs> Talking about special interests be like, right. <laughs> Explain me things I already don't, don't know. <laughs> Relax. I I feel that, Deepaw. I feel that. Hi, Zillian. I hope you enjoyed. Part of the reason I started rushing was because I wanted to see if I could get back to ratio again. Oh, no. I really, um... Yeah, I really like the siblings. Sales store. Should I visit it? Wait, what? I cannot believe we got a new app on our phone. Place is bustling. There are so many. Big squanderer. What stands before you is the golden hour. Pinaconi's pulsa pulsating heart. Tell me, what are your first impressions of this city? I fell in love at first sight. The air stinks of capital. <laughs> love hate relationship. Hard to describe. You despise pretentiousness and therefore scorn the golden hour. Ah, a soul that remains ever vigilant, never fooled by the glamour parading before you. I salute thee. Considering you are already in the dream, perhaps you can put aside your prejudices for a while and enjoy the charms of the city for of this of this city of festivities to its full. Though do remember to keep some wits about you, lest the city swallows you all. I hate that. I guess let me put my uh my soda sticker down. People hey, Emma. Living in the dreamscape. In my head, I remember falling and then saw the siblings. I forgot it asked me if the city vibes. Oh my gosh. Um. Hey, Jen. Thank you so much. How are you? Wait, this is the wrong one. We're here. Okay, I'm gonna try. Whoa, whoa. That almost went really well for me. We're still trying for Adelons. Yeah, it was almost a light cone banner. It was really scary. Did I did I actually roll in the light cone banner? No, 
Wouldn't have that been something? Wouldn't, would that not have been something? Oh, it's a floating book. Yeah, it's only one bull. I honestly, it's fine. It's whatever. <laughs> Wait, where is it? Oh, it must be in the other one. He's haunting me. He's allowed to haunt me now. <laughs> I'm okay with him now. We don't have any more beef. Wait, can I not turn it? Oh, there we go. You missed the adventuring room seed. Okay, he can go that way. Oh my goodness, this place is so cool. Is it just me too, or does it seem like it's uh, like a much bigger area? What if I get hit by one? <laughs> Rules are made to be broken. Get hit by a car? Violate traffic rules and get hit by a vehicle in Pina County? <laughs> Oh my god. I love that the that it was called rules are made to be broken. I I love that. A roadside self-serve food truck in Pinaconi for some reason people keep trying to barge into the car to see what's inside. Does this taste like Disney popcorn? Disney Disney popcorn head's different. Too small. First things we thought of doing. You laughed so hard when that happened to you. I love that they added that. Like this is this game is so chaotic. Wow, it's a car. Family merchant. Let's see. Recipe, 100 layer sundae. Ooh. My um, lactose in intolerance, not gonna do well with that. Potato fry sundae? Okay, I'd eat that. That actually sounds really good. What is dream syrup? Oh, okay. Dreamscape adults? I instantly feel like you're being blown by a breeze. The air is tinged with a faint burnt sound of coffee, making your mouth salivate. Float disc burger. You find yourself standing in front of an ATM that looks somewhat forlorn, while the other machines are busy dispensing al al fal alfalfa credits, it stands quietly in place. You hit the buttons following the standard procedure. Ooh! Uh, the ATM trembles vigorously, but something seems to be stuck in its throat, stopping it from spewing anything out. Looks like you won't be getting any cash through the, through the conventional way. Can I? Oh, no, I can't do anything else. Okay. Oh! Um... Hit it with the baseball bat. The baseball bat leaves a huge dent in the machine. The alarm siren flares out for a while before the machine comes to a total halt. The passing pedestrians glance at you disapprovingly. In any case, it seems like there's no way you can get your money now. Um, can I fix it? Try stuffing some coins in through the dispenser. You stuff some alfalfa credits in the machine via the dispenser. 
clink clank, something clinks all the way down to the pipe and lands on the tray of the dispenser. After coughing out several coins, the ATM lets out a sigh of contentment and gets back up and running. Appearance-wise, it is no different from other ATMs. There is nothing special about it, so much so that it is a bit dull. Clock credits? Figure out why the cash viewer is stuck. This is so funny. This is literally the funniest thing ever. Me at the ATM IRL, but there's always a line behind me watching the whole the whole thing. Oh no. You did that too? I yeah, I was so curious. I'm like, what if we beat it up? Alright, um There's so much to see. Ooh. The heck is that? Oh, cool. According to the map, this is the Dreamscape sales store. Is that according to the map, this is the Dreamscape sales store. Is that a giant eyeball? <gasps> Floating ice cream? Your tongue is en enveloped by an icy sensation. Nothing is more refreshing than a sweet and sour drink served chilled. Wait, can I just take them all? You munch on yet another cone. Fortunately, being a sweet tooth in a dream doesn't make you gain weight. <laughs> when you are halfway through the third cone, you start to get sick of the taste. That's probably why the manufacturer keeps only three cones in a set. Yeah, I mean, I can abs- Hello? What the fuck? Hey, how's it going? I haven't eaten. You haven't eaten? Come to Ulux's culinary chain. You'll be full and satisfied. Sales rep. <laughs> the most luxurious commodities throughout. No, imagine if ads in real life could do that. Are you serious? Oh no, that's terrifying. Oh, there's so many. How, can I hit it? Hi, have you been wearing the outfit for quite some time? I have many sets of the same outfit. Do you find it hard to get clothes that suit your style? Here comes your chance. You can find the trendiest apparel at the Apiris apparel fashion show. Make any purchase to redeem for free soul glad. You can bop them? Oh my god, that's amazing. It's a trash can, I think. This is a trash can. There are even trash cans in the dream? The discovery turns into overwhelming, overwhelming joy and it rushes to your head like a punch. When you return to your senses, you've been enveloped in a sugary mood with a lingering sweet aftertaste. <laughs> it's rumored that even trash in the dreamscape has feelings. It makes you wonder, how are we different from mere trash? It's like opening a loot box. You'll never know how the tenant inside is feeling when you open the trash can. A trash can the dreamscape. Other than the usual trash, it is also a location for people's discarded emotions. <laughs> Leave me alone! Are you serious? Wait, did that billboard just move? Girl. Oh, there's so many stickers that we can collect. This place is huge. This is, this feels a lot different than like the other areas in this game. It's not filled with soul glad. Okay. Damn, that car almost hit me. 
beast star. The little arctic bear cub watches you with its head tilted, flapping its semicircular ears. You're certain no one can ever resist a cute fluffy critter, not to mention that it's waving its cute little stumpy arms at you as if asking for a little bear hug. How could you say no? Submit to your heart's desire. Give up. You're just making the same mistake anyone else would when faced with, with a bear cub like this. You walk forward quietly. Good, it hasn't run off, but is still watching you with those innocent eyes. You begin to imagine the soft touch of that fur in the palm of your hand and wonder, is this the happiness that you've been pursuing all along? Just then you seem to catch a glimpse of something out of the corner of your eyes. Something that has absolutely no business being here. Its presence is so offensive, like marbles in a soda bottle or lipstick on a shirt collar but it's impossible to ignore. Your movements stop. Who cares about anyone else? Nothing is more important than happiness right here, right now. Even if the dregs of propagation are about to lead a withering assault against Penacone, you decide you want to grab onto that soft bluff first. <laughs> You're sure that this is the great justice behind why you all, why you do all you do. Your hand spreads wide, fingers quivering slightly. Good, you're about to pet it. Are you sure you don't want to think about it some more? Submit to your heart's desire. You win, you are bold and none can resist you. Go ahead and do whatever you want. You, your palm hugs onto the little cub tightly. It's a little heavier than you expected, but that doesn't matter. It's softer, tickles the palm of your hands while filling your heart up to the brim with warmth. Another beautiful life moment for you. It grunts happily and doesn't seem to be offended by your rude behavior. <laughs> you sigh with relief. The risk paid off and you got what you wanted, but at what cost? You only just realize something isn't right? Have you recovered yet from the rashness of your blind impulse? Didn't you notice that this whole time the sign hanging above the creature doesn't say Arctic Bear Cub at all? Take a deep breath and don't get excited. At least they aren't angry right now and you still have plenty of time to think about mitigation strategies. Explain what you just did. Seeing as they have chosen to display themselves as an arctic bear cub, it is not technically wrong to use a corresponding method of petting. Therefore, you decide to... Maybe we should just scuttle. <laughs> what? Oh, we got raided. Hi, hello. Oh, I'm so sorry. I was reading the, the dialogue. Um, OG Kamochi, hi, welcome in. Thank you so much for the raid. Hi, hello, welcome in everyone. My name is Lauren Prunzer, she, her. I'm a full-time content creator here on Twitch and also on YouTube. How was your stream? Welcome in. Thank you so much for the raid. I hope it was great. What were y'all doing? Um, for anyone just coming in, uh, we are playing some Honkai Star Rail. I just started like 15 days ago for the first time and there's new content out today. So I'm exploring it and it's really fun. Stream was nuts. What were y'all doing? What were you playing? This is how I feel trying to decide if I should if I should risk petting Freya's tummy. Yeah, I feel that so much. This bear is taking your soul. I don't understand. What is life if one can't dream with reckless abandon? Do you get this sticker either way? Encounter the familiar sights in the dreamscape. Yep, yep, it's the trash can. What is this? What did the sign say? Huh. We played Life is Strange too. Oh, how was it? I actually haven't. Jacquard found the banknotes fall like a flurry of snow. I I don't think that I've played the second one. I played the first one and I really liked it, but I haven't played any of any of the other Life Life is Strange games. Oh, it's just a post- a, a person? A person posing as a bear. Oh look, it's like- what is this? Are these EVs? <laughs> this is an automatic- oh. So glad dispenser machine. Oh great! You look around but can't find anyone to vet to. We got so glad all over us. What's this one? Dreamscape Blue Ring Squid and Plant Ash is now available from the machine at a 20% discount for a limited time only. What the heck? 
Oh, I haven't, I actually haven't seen Beastars. Emotionally draining, yeah. It seems like that series is, like I know the first one definitely gave me some, uh, some strong feelings. But thank you so much for the raid and sharing your community with us. I really do appreciate that. Thank you. Um, is this another trash can? Okay. A peculiarly designed telephone. This is weird. Is fixed in place waiting for Curious Passerby to pick up its receiver. Good evening, esteemed guests. Would you be interested in making a dream, a dream peak call today? A wonderful question. Please allow me to introduce you to the wonders of the Dream Peak Call. Dear new guest, just insert a small amount of alfalfa credits and the phone will automatically search your contacts for a sleeping friend and allow you to listen to their dreams. We're, we're peeping at someone's dreams? That doesn't sound very ethical. The phone suddenly emits a crisp ring, leaving you uncertain whether it is a taunt or a hearty laugh. Ring an ethical party goer and pina coney. I must admit that your joke is quite refined. Is it gonna be, is it gonna be Don Hung? You're about to, Branya? Ah, oh, that wouldn't work. Why didn't you mention it earlier? Fine, I'll leave it alone for now and you'll move it yourself. The plot takes an unexpected turn, leaving you both irritated and frustrated. <laughs> what? What in the world? I can't believe that we just, I can't believe they did that. Emo gears? This game is so funny. You missed so much. Oh no. You they they absolutely knew what they were doing. They are very well aware of who this community is. They know. Oh wow, we get Really? Wowzers. Okay, cool. I feel like I feel like this game knows exactly. Well, I mean, it's, it's giving me everything that I want. Unfortunately, um I didn't ask for that much woman. But like, you know, the last two days I've gotten a lot of, I've got a lot of women, I've pulled a lot of women. <laughs> but this game is doing a very good job at giving me what I want. Now double it, right. Lots of gems to fund your E6 ratio on his rerun. I love that. I love that. Uh, what was I gonna do? I was gonna do something, but I can't remember what it was. Okay, we'll just keep going. <clears throat> there is really so much to explore here. It's it's super fun. And it's the type of exploration too that's like it doesn't it doesn't feel like it gets boring because it's just so funny and like silly. Oh hell no. Help! <laughs> Well, 
There's so much interactivity. Yeah. And like obviously you can you can like discover and like you know run around and stuff in Genshin, but I I feel like with this type of of interacting with the world, like it's like you really want to because it just makes you laugh. It's just it's so silly. Please have some mercy. You seem to hear the crisp cries of the cup. See, this is what I mean. But it's too late. You can only relish a lingering taste in your mouth. You munch on yet another cone. Fortunately, being a sweet tooth in a dream doesn't make you gain weight. When you are halfway through the third cone, you start to get a sick taste. Okay, this is uh, what we got earlier. Oh, somebody is throwing up on the streets. What a scam. Oh. <clears throat> Pressing the skip add button, it really does. Play Golden Capsule Machine. Oh, what? An amusement facility can be seen anywhere in Aiden Park. Its rules are simple but charming. Countless guests are immersed in it and become completely oblivious in re to reality. Oh. I got excited, but yeah, they're like, they're slot machines. Oh my god. Brona? The automated orchestra. How tragic that an elegant place like Panacone would allow such vulgar technology. The lady stares at the arts. The park's automated orchestra in seething anger, contempt oozing out of her every breath. The family dares display these contraptions out on the streets, and they have the cheek to use music to convey their devotion. I feel ashamed on their behalf. Why are you angry? My friend, any virtuoso would be outraged by this. Nothing more than scrap metal des desecrating the art of sound and playing soulless music. If automated orchestras become commonplace, there will be less and less room for... She is popping off about AI. That's horrifying. Yes, it's the greatest nightmare for musicians and fans alike. If the family does not take this problem seriously, all of Panacone's musicians will leave sooner or later. The music that belongs to living beings and dreams will soon come to an end. My friend, if you do not want to listen to any more of the soulless music played by machines in the future, let's band together and boycott the automated orchestra. Uh, let's chat. Um, me? I'm just a musician traveling the universe, learning about local music on various worlds and bringing my own music to these worlds. I used to enjoy this process. Every world brought me new emotions and allowed me to see different forms of artistic expression. But at some point, the replacing of musicians with automated instruments stated to spread throughout the universe. Ever since I discovered this, I've made it my life's mission to guide these errant wor worlds toward the right path. I have to make them understand that music is only music when it's played by the living. I think she's great. Sometimes this game is so goofy and then they turn around and drop so many truths and I love both aspects. Right, they do a really good job with that. Okay. The gong, <clears throat> the gong rings loud, performers crowd round. Excuse me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the, the weight, the weight reference is oh, very interesting. So tell me. Oh. Someone's directing the performance of mus musicianless instruments on stage. When you look over there, you see a pair of hands, well maintained and adorned with slender knuckles. They flutter and leap, creating waves of black and white. Within those waves, joy resides, carried by each stroke that sends golden notes soaring, resounding with beauty. These notes guide your ascent, leading you to a grand vista of the magnificent stage. The pianists appear serene and content enveloped by the harmonious music of the instruments. Along the trail of golden notes, you ascend to the pinnacle, beholding the night sky and plunging into an ocean, creating 
thousands of white-capped waves. Before you know it, the music reaches its conclusion. Draw closer to the stage. The pianist has surrounded himself immense, Im immersed in a torrent of music and ecstasy. He hums a few lines when inspiration strikes, transforming his melody into a lively rhythm. Interesting. Oh, can't go that way. <laughs> hey, Joshua! These past... <laughs> yeah, it's been... Uh, I've been keeping track of the days, and it's been, like, 15 days, I think, since I started for my first day. I have been obsessed like i i have i've really been obsessed with this game very very loving it very enjoying myself and i am pretty i'm completely caught up except i haven't done the um the shianjo inner oh That took me by surprise. He's he's actually vomiting. Anyway, I haven't done the Shanjo interlude yet. I still need to do that one. Right, the way the kids are watching, they're like, oh my god, it's rainbow. <laughs> oh! A gorgeous and exquisite crystal glass hovers in midair, surrounded by three different bottles of liquor. Along with the jolly music nearby, the glass and bottles float and spin as though they were having a dance party of their own. Yet from the way they sway their bodies, you can still discern a hint of dissonance lurking beneath the surface of this magical scene. The red wine bottle, despite its awkward movement, will inch closer to the crystal chalice tentatively every few seconds. However, the glass seems keenly aware of the red bottle's mo motive and will keep its distance cautiously with finesse. Oh, this is a whole soap opera. The gold wine bottle is the best dancer. It appears to be very experienced in attending such occasions and is having a good time. It approaches the crystal glass and then pulls away from time to time. Although the two do not speak, they seem to have formed some sort of rapport with each other. The green wine bottle's moves are steady and restrained compared to the previous two. It behaves more like a spectator, but in its occasional sway, you can sense the suppressed desire within. <laughs> Perhaps it was just grown accustomed to holding back its desires. The realization draw dawns upon you. There is a love drama ongoing among the three underneath the peaceful facade. Miss, miss, a crisp voice rings in your head, each syllable resembling the clink when someone gently taps the rim of a tall wine glass with a small silver spoon. That's right, miss. You heard it right. I'm speaking to you. You seem pretty occupied. You're right. I'm in a dilemma. Look, I'm a high-end custom-made crystal wine glass. The person who made me said that I should be used to hold only the most valuable and finest wine. But as you can see, there are three types of wine around me. I can sense their intention to get to know me and be my partner. Truth be told, miss, I have no idea what to do. As the saying goes, the spectators see the game better than the players. I believe only a level-headed guest like you can offer me some sound advice. This is a trip. Which of them should I choose? Can you talk to each of the bottles and give me some suggestions? Why not just drink them all? We said, uh, just, just have a poly relationship. I don't want to become as cheap as those soul glad glasses. Excuse me? The crystal chalice's tone is laden with contempt and disgust. Okay. You're so kind and enchanting, miss. The three of them are right there. Do you want to chat with them now? You agree to help the crystal chalice to find their perfect. Um, let's talk to the green wine bottle. Why are you pursuing the crystal chalice? No, I'm not pursuing the crystal glass. I'm merely protecting it. Yes, it's protection. Please do not make wild speculations. It seems to be a bottle of few words and is still trying hard to restrain its desires. I... Fine. I guess it's all right to tell you my story. The crystal chalice might not remember it anymore, but the two of us were made by the same craftsman. Although we're different products, we were born around the same time. I cannot believe how much they went into this.
I don't want to. I don't want someone to walk in and ask me what it's about. <laughs> I was later bought by a military officer and followed him to the battlefield for a long time. However, he didn't open me even to the day he was struck by a stray bullet. My friend, may he rest in peace. By a twist of fate, I returned to Pinaconi and came across the crystal glass again. It no longer recognized me as we were separated for too long. Now there's a huge gap between us in terms of our statuses. I'm not expecting anything in return from it. Being just a bottle of rum, I'll never be able to offer it the prestige and recognition that it deserves. I just want to protect it from being taken advantage of by other wines. That's it. Listen, I literally did not know that we were going to go into a, a whole thing right now with these, these bottles. Like, wow. Um, what sort of question is that, buddy? Look at me, I'm a bottle of liquor. Isn't it the most natural thing for a bottled liquor to desire a perfect wine glass that, compl that complements it? I'm sure I won't find another glass as beautiful as this one before me in the entire Panacone. It's all for nothing for me this time. I'm surprised. I'm surprised a guest like you would be interested in a wine bottle like me. This is unusual. Fine, I'll tell you everything you want to know. My background is nothing extraordinary. I'm just a common red wine that you can find at the grocery store on the street. I might as well be packaged. I might be well packaged, but in reality, those rich folks and drinkers wouldn't even spare me a second glance. They act as if they know all, a lot about wine. Can they even tell what they are actually drinking at those banquets they attend? I refuse to accept my fate. I don't want to end up being bought on a whim by some homeless person chucked away into a small dark alley without even being finished. So I've been working hard in search of a chance to make it big. By winning the Crystal Chalice's heart, I'll be on my way to joining the upper class of society. So this one wants to basically use the crystal chalice. Okay, let's ask the gold wine bottle. It's a lady in gray wearing a bizarre costume rarely seen in this town. I like your unique fashion sense. I'm sorry, my friend. I think you might have got the wrong idea. Oh, I mean about the pursuing part. I don't consider myself to be pursuing the crystal chalice. We're simply getting to know each other as equals. Why? It's because that beautiful crystal chalice has been, has long been smitten with me. Okay, I think I'm gonna go with the green bottle. I'm going, you know what? I don't like, I don't like the vibes of gold wine bottle. Like, like sounding a little too pompous. Right from birth, I've only had to be poured into it. Nope, a little pompous. Nope, green, green bottle it is. Turns down dates, there's, there's, yeah, no. Okay. You're choosing the green rum. The bottle of rum is going to protect you for nothing in return. It should be able to give you happiness. I've got it. I'll take your opinion into account for making any decision. I appreciate your help, miss. I'll keep you posted if there are any updates on my side. That was wild. Did anybody run into that interaction? That was not what I was expecting. <gasps> new model of wristwatch by the Sten family has just given TikTok, what to do? What do I do? I'm going to be scrapped soon. Average working lifespan of us tickers is only 133 years. I have another 129 years to go before I get scrapped. I don't want to be scrapped. Oh, this thingy. Okay. Gave my homegirl a little sugar daddy. Oh no! How does this work? Oh, you didn't run into the um the wine bottle thingy. How the heck does this Oh wait. Oh 
Oh, this is cool. Oh, I like this. That was actually super fun. Cool. Hey, Mochi Chaos, welcome in. Oh, the Pina Coney puzzles are very whimsical. I only stopped for, for a couple. Okay, we might go straight for the main story now because like, I feel like I could spend hours exploring and I'll probably do some more exploring like off stream. Cause like there's so much to see here. Like this is wild, this is, this is so big. Oh wait, I will do this though cause these puzzles are really fun. I ran around finding them. They're so fun. I like them a lot. Does that work? Wait. The world is just chef's kiss? Yes. I'll finish the story, then actually try to enjoy it. No, that's fair. I love you so much. You peer into the binoculars, but all that means is abyssal darkness. Suddenly an eye opens in the abyss and begins to stare at you. If you gaze into the abyss, the abyss gazes also into you. And if you choose to meet the abyss's gaze, after some time the eye closes shyly, only darkness remains in the telescope. Okay. What did we look at? The eye of Sauron or something? What the hell? Checked off the list. The hell was that? Stream's going well. Very excited to be exploring this new area in Star Rail. They're all chef's kiss? Yeah. Like so far, everything has been so good. Like, ah, I'm so glad that I was able to catch up in time to, to be here with everybody. Well, isn't this a dream? Come in. Okay, what is this? Oh, Pika again. All right, let's go back to the main story. Sorry, y'all. I was just very, very into, I'm very into this world. That's so pretty too, what the heck? She has no relics. Yeah, I, I don't think I, I didn't level my relics at all last night. I probably should level those as well. But I never did unlock that that area I needed for um, her relic specifically. I just have the attack percent ones on, I think. No, 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 no. It's morphin' time! Oh, man. Okay. Can't do that yet. Whatever that is. Wow, we're out here now with the, uh, what? This is an entrance to Hanu's adventure. Game of the Dreamscape. You must transform yourself into a miniature Hanu. Okay. It is so easy to get distracted. There's so much. Seven hours to finish the, the story quest. Oh my God. Yeah, I kind of had a feeling that we weren't gonna finish today because um, I had seen someone on Twitter talking about how huge this area was in general and how Wait, there's just, that there's so just much move? to explore. So I was like, that doesn't bode well for me. Does not bode well for me in my ADHD. <laughs> According to the map, this is the Dreamscape sales store. Is that a um, giant eyeball? Oh. 
Is that the eyeball that we saw earlier? Uh, really quick, y'all. I think before we continue, I'm going to quickly take a break. Um, I want to go make some coffee and fill up my water bottle. So let's go take like a quick five and we'll come back and we will try and focus on the story quest. Because man, I am getting distracted. Holy crap. Yeah, let's do, let's do that really quick. Like a five. I already ate my lunch, so it won't be super long. I'm just going to go and make some coffee really quick. So be right back, y'all. Enjoy your lurk, Kieran. Thank you so much. I hope everyone had a good break. Um, let's go ahead and get back into it right away since we only have a little bit of time left for today. Oh, I'm gonna be so sad when we have to end today because I want to just play and play and play and play and play. Trailblazers from the asteroids. Oh, that's creepy. Welcome to Dreamscape. Um, who's talking to me? How do you know who I am? It's the magic of psychoanalysis, madam. <laughs> Dr. Ed is... Oh, shoot, sorry. I turned off the... Oh, I turned off the wrong thing. <laughs> That's why. I was like, what? Okay, there we go. Here's where you'll get to experience all sorts of fascinating dreams hits from the top-notch productions of Clark Studios to private donations. <laughs> we have it all! If I'm not mistaken, this is your first visit to Pinnacle, isn't it? Uh... Yes. No. <laughs> it is. Please be rest assured that Dr. Edward will provide the best service you can find in helping you purchase your first dreamscape and indulge in an exclusive and marvelous dreamland journey. <laughs> and that's the end of my analysis. I'm sure you'll be a fan of this green bar. It's a contribution from an anonymous donor. It is said to contain the memory of the fallen Eon Nakafiri. I can assure you that this dream bubble is perfect for you. How do you know what I want? Is this the memory of Akavili? How many credits do I have to pay? Uh, Dr. Ed promises to let every new customer enjoy their first dream bubble for free. Well, let's begin. Please close your eyes and rest your forehead against the dream bubble. Touch the dream bubble. Trailblazer from the Astral Express. Do you plead guilty? Um, yes. Hold on. I forgot to put the thingy up. Yeah, we are working towards bonus Sunday this week. I completely forgot. So if y'all would like, oh shoot, hold on, let me reset that. So if anybody would like to see a bonus Sunday stream this coming Sunday, we do need to get to 5,000 bits before the end of Friday stream to be here on Sunday. Um, I did a once off uh, Sunday stream last week on my own because uh, I was addicted. But Sundays are a day that I should be trying to do other things unless a bonus Sunday is it. Uh, so definitely, um, wait, what the heck? Sorry, I'm getting lost. Uh, I didn't even notice the music. It's very good. Okay, um, so yes, if you would like to see a bonus Sunday stream, just a heads up, the bonus Sunday counter is up on the screen now. 
um, 5,000 bits before the end of Friday's stream. If you're interested in supporting the stream, um, if I did something to make you smile, or if you enjoy my videos on YouTube, this is a great way to help support the stream is contributing bits. So um, definitely uh, consider it if you have been thinking about a way to support financially, monetarily, uh, that's a great way to do so. And then we also get an extra stream during the week, so yeah. All right, continuing on. How come Pom Pom is here? Am I Akavili now? What's going on? I won't make any explanatory or leading comments on the content of this dream bubble. In the dream bubble, you will be living through another person's past memories. You will experience what the original owner of the memory once experienced. If any details are missing from the dream bubble, your subconscious will make up for it by substituting the missing content with something similar. The sins you've committed are beyond pardon. But I respect every individual's right to carry out volunteer work. Give this place a thorough cleaning! Uh, why isn't there any sound now? Who's speaking? Do I have to do the voiceover for Akavili myself? My apologies. When I received what? this dream bubble, some of the audio tracks were missing. And perhaps even the memorial is unable to transmit the voice of Akavili. However, I can make some adjustments to the dream bubble to improve your experience. Meaning you can choose anyone's voice for Akavili. As long as it's a voice you're familiar with, I'll be able to replicate it in your subconscious. Uh, anyone's voice will do? Does it have to be this, the voice of someone I'm close to? That's quite a convenient feature. Well, it must be someone you're close to. Unless you're willing to accept a very unpleasant listening experience. Well, please, make a decision. I'll do my best to fulfill your needs. Oh! Wait, is there any... Okay, let me see who else. Himiko Welts. Myself, of course. Myself in a different gender? We can actually have Kalis talk to us? I've never... I've not heard Kalis before. Don Hung or Kalis? That's kind of where I'm at right now. I'm gonna let chat decide. We're gonna do a poll really quick. All right, we're only gonna have it up for one minute. Go, 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 go. Poll is up in chat. Who are we picking? Only one minute to vote. <laughs> Don't she? I was I was kind of hoping that we would have we could have like other people that we met, but it's really just the people on the express. Yeah, honestly, I'm between Don Hung and Kalis. Those are the two that I, I'm interested in, and have it do the voiceover for me. Okay, I don't think, I really don't think Don Hung is going to, <laughs> gonna win. All right, it's Kalis. Myself and a different gender, of course. No matter, Dr. Edward will make it happen. The replication is complete. Now you can enjoy an enhanced dreamscape experience. Do you, as well as the other passengers, take responsibility for the following malicious conduct? 
You rode snowmobiles into the Tykian Stadium and disrupted the match, causing the match to be suspended. Because of you, 20 trailblazers were forced to repair the severely damaged exterior of the stadium for three months without pay. You plead guilty to this charge? <sighs> yes, I plead guilty. Is that his voice? You sneaked into the Hai Zoo and splurged half an Amber Era's crew budget on 250 nose walker cubs. You kept them in the restroom. Man, I think I should have went Kalos. I love Stell, but man, Kalos's voice is wow. You plead guilty to this charge? Yes, I plead guilty. <laughs> you barged into the kitchen of the dining carriage, claiming that the whole area needed disinfection. This resulted in the loss of 42 crispy, crumbly pom-pom pies. And because you also took the last serving of the express special in the fridge, I was left starving. <laughs> you plead guilty to this charge? The first one is clearly a result of your own doing, but I do admit to consuming the last serving of the express special. <laughs> Don't get carried away just yet. This is only the beginning of your list of culinary offenses. There are cases of entire entries disappearing from the Express Data Bank. Plants in the parlor car being watered with soul glad. Disrupting the conductor's rest with noise. And a break-in to the conductor's exclusive snack vault. What do all of these have to do with Akavili? <laughs> this trailblazing expedition of yours is indeed an elating one. Did Soulglad really exist in that era? My public, by order of the Alphansa family, delicious first oh. engine, Soul Glad is the only brand of beverage permitted to appear in recorded dreams games. And that's not even half the list. There are a total of 46 cases of malicious conduct. Do you admit to being the culprit in every case? Uh, sorry. I am indeed the worst nameless in the universe. Yeah, it, I, it is reminding me of that one no, video that I watched. you are not. Could there be anyone worse than me? <laughs> of course there is. Who? Uh, Of this dream bubble. How was your experience? Um, what do all of these have to do with Akavili? <laughs> this dream bubble aligns with what you desire in your subconscious. If you're interested in experiencing the dream bubble again, you can purchase it with credits. I almost expected something like, excuse me, I almost expected something like this. So that first dream bubble for free was just a sales pitch, huh? This dream bubble is indeed pricey. Still, please give it some consideration. Well, are you going to buy it? I'll buy it. Yeah, that was really expensive. Thank you. <laughs> Hope to see you next time. Oh, right. As this is your first time using the dream bubble. <gasps> Sticker! First... I was hoping I would find some clues about the nameless up here. Well, can't expect it to be that easy. She went that way. Get her! What's going on? Don't even think about running away. You stole away. Oh, it's what's her face. She's so pretty. Sorry for bothering you. Please, I need your help. Um. 
I'll do my best to protect a pretty young lady. Hey, look. She has an accomplice. Ha, ah, good work. Now we can nab them both in one go. Oh, we're fighting. Say bye to breathing. <gasps> There's the, the silly TV thingy. Oh my God. Oh wait, I need to listen to the, this is the first time I'm hearing the battle music. Destiny isn't chosen. Ill tidings manifest. Don't throw the game. Didn't hurt. Naughty child. Good times. Never last. Time to say bye. Boom. <laughs> Thanks. You're too good to me. <laughs> What do you want to know? Uh, I love that. Down. I love Get that. Ugh, I'm obsessed. Cool. Ah! Oh my gosh. My team's coming together. That's enough, boys. Gallagher? Oh my god, he is uh, rough. Sir, sir. What's gotten into you all? Open your eyes and take a good look. Is this lady the stowaway we're looking for? Huh? Who? Who's this? Uh, don't you know him? Look at his brown hair and gray vest. Uh, he's the officer sent here by the family to maintain order at the Charmony Festival. I see. Sir, the thing is, we're trying to apprehend a stowaway. And that young lady there looks very suspicious. We're sure she's the one. That's nonsense. Take another look, will ya? The witness report says that the suspect is a lad with silver hair, and you guys are going after a girl with silver hair. Does that even make sense? She's our guest. <sighs> well, just get out of my way, and I'll take care of this. Yes, yes sir. Sorry for all the trouble you went through back there. I'm Gallagher from the Bloodhound family. Does he have a those mullet? Those idiots are some young bloodhounds I've been training. Because of their youth and inexperience, they mistook an honored guest of Penacone for a criminal. This is indeed a regrettable mistake. I'd like to offer my sincerest apology to you on behalf of the Bloodhound family. Oh, I, I haven't played Persona 4. He, he looks like he, he looks like he has a mullet. <laughs> While playing his callus, activate, activated by flight or flight, even though his hair is technically gray, not silver. I have to say, sadly, I do not get the appeal. I've, I feel zero feelings for this man, but I'm happy for everyone who does. I, I can see the appeal. I can see the appeal. But... I, but I, I, I didn't realize that he has a mullet. What about the stowaway? Who's the silver haired guy? The Bloodhound family are guards of the dreamscape. We're in charge of security here and our duties include arresting people who try to enter our world illegally. We got a tip that some criminals were planning to take advantage of the festivities around the Charmony Festival to sneak into Penacone. Now that the festival is just around the corner, there are likely many shady characters lurking around. Huh? I like that they Don't gave... Don't worry. I believe this is just a misunderstanding. How could such a lovely girl like you be a stowaway? I like that they gave him, like, <gasps> scruff, Thanks. though. Without your kind help, we haven't seen that, I right? I wouldn't know what to do. Just part of the job. <laughs> I need to get going. If you need help, you can reach out to me through the young bloodhounds in this area. I wish you an enjoyable experience in this land of dreams. <sighs> I owe you a big one. If it hadn't been for you, I might have been taken away by them. 
I'm happy to help. Well, my help doesn't come free. Galactic Baseballer at your service. <laughs> You're funny. By the way, I've just noticed. You're a nameless, right? Is this your first time here on Pentacony? How do you know? Are the nameless really that famous? I'm not doing autographs today. <laughs> That's not what I meant. Though I do admire the nameless. The family invited you here, right? I I'd be happy to show you around. Although the bloodhounds mistook me for a stowaway, I'm actually a local. My name is Firefly. Firefly? I'm from the Iris family. I work as a stage performer, although right now I'm just an extra. When there are no acting gigs, I work as a guide near Glocks Avenue. If you don't mind, I can show you all the exciting things around here. Maybe if I do my job as a guide, people will stop suspecting me. <laughs> That's awesome. I happen to need a tour guide. Glad to hear that. After all, you just did me a huge favor. Hi, Photog. How are Over you? Here. <gasps> she's Not running. A bad idea to get to know about this place. I know she's adorable. Um, this is huge for a Hoyaverse game because you ask for more beefy mask men for the gays, and they get so scared. And I the say this is a pretty men enjoyer. <clears throat> they give me gender the envy. Yeah. Loud. Performers crowd round. Um. <laughs> hey, that sounded pretty good. <laughs> He's my Buzz Lightyear. <laughs> I'm bullet shaving. No, just from looking at, well, the, the drip picture of him too, I didn't realize he had a mullet. Which, you know, that's that's totally fine. That's totally fine. Nothing wrong with the mullet. You know, as they say, business in the front, party in the back, right? <laughs> but no, I, I do think it's really cool that they gave him some scruff since like there hasn't been any character that has had scruff. They've all been clean shaven or have no body hair, period. Oh, don't you dare. Get out of here. Watch your step now. The first stop most people head to as soon as they arrive in the Dreamscape is the OT Mall. The Dreamscape sales stores here is super famous. There are also stores that sell luxury goods, apparel, trendy toys, and even cars. As long as you have enough alfalfa coins, you can buy anything you fancy. Items purchased in the Dreamscape can also be brought into reality through an extra service. Unfortunately, the transfer of automobiles to the real world is not available at the moment. You can come back for them next time. Just outside the mall is the plaza! Follow me! I'll buy you a nice meal. Yeah, now if Honkai Star Rail adds a full on black person, a black playable character, then I will say it. Then I will say the thing. Without whitewashing, I will then say the thing. Um, greetings, you've been standing there for a while, interested in old machines, I've got everything you need, feel free to browse. A bowl of instant noodles years past its expiry date. Even if cup noodles are mass produced with stringent factory, factory? factory standards, they'd still differ depending on their jog. I'm supposed to be, I'm supposed to be I am supposed to be focusing. We're reading this quick. I'm just looking around. We're supposed to be focusing. What is this stuff? Old molar? What does this do? Tier 4 synthesis material.
Uh, what does the cart board do? Wait, the advertisement board? It just, it just advertises to you. Make Tony Alfalfa playable. The thing that everybody says, Genshin could never. Genshin has more POCs than Honkai Star Rail, and that says a lot. The bar is low right now. It's pretty low, yeah. I mean... Yeah, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Bulldog, carbonara noodles, and I hope they are good. Enjoy! I heard that was a good flavor. Give him a kid's meal. We're here. Hey, have you ever heard of this saying that goes, In a dream, hunger is the most precious spice. Well, you can find all kinds of local delicacies here. Clocky pizza, oat cake rolls, alfalfa salad, and the classic soul glad. Feel free to pick up anything you like. Today, it's my treat. It did take Genshin a while to have more than, than Kaya. Yeah, that's true. And I feel like, I feel like Kaya is whitewashed a lot. Okay, thanks. That's very nice of you. You shouldn't have. I should warn you, I do have very expensive tastes. That shouldn't be a problem. I have some savings left. I have some savings left? No, she gave me all of her money! I was kidding! Oh, now I, f I feel awful. I thought I was supposed to. No! I've seen a lot more dark skin NPCs in uh, Panacone, and that's nice. Really? Shenyan came out in 1.2. That's only pa two patches. Um, she's so sweet. She's like, have all of my money. <laughs> Were you saying about the IPC now? Apologize to Ven Ven. Absolutely not. I will not. You will not catch me apologizing to a man. Not happening. Unless they're Don Hun. Then I'll apologize to him. <laughs> okay, this is Pen Penacone's most iconic dish. Take your pick, it's my treat. Um Attack by 60%. Well actually, yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna buy this. I don't want to spend all of her money. Are you done ordering? Then I'll pay up. I love their oat cake rolls. I get one from here every day. Oh. Not the calorie mention. Um, it doesn't that get expensive? Well, that's why I only have one per day. Let's walk while we eat. It's time to head to the next stop. I think she can just do whatever she wants. No, I don't want anything for McDonald's. No, thank you. We don't, uh, we don't support McDonald's in this house. I'm good. This is the luxury store I told you about earlier. If we keep going, we'll reach Glax Avenue. Which is the road to Golden Hour. I almost got hit by a car again. Over here. Follow me. Please come this way. Let me show you something interesting. I love Glocks Avenue. <laughs> I just remembered that I that I, I heard Glock Avenue. I'm like, why are we going to Glock Avenue? Get me out of here. Look, that's the statue of Clocky, Penacone's famous cartoon character. I love it's Mickey the Mouse. And most famous animation <laughs> from Penacone. It follows the adventurous life of Clocky and his friends in the town of Dreamville. To date, over 10,000 episodes have aired. He looks cute. His character design is a little surrealist. Isn't having a clock as a character a bit ominous? Ominous? Clocky is a household name here. 
There would never be anything ominous about him. Right? I don't know, he's kind of creeping me out. By the way, do you know that Clocky's design is said to be inspired by none other than the legendary watchmaker? Watchmaker? I can't believe you haven't heard of him. He was a legendary tycoon in the history of Penacony, the founder of the dreamscape, the man who turned dreams into reality. There are different stories out there about the watchmaker's origin. Some said he was a traveling merchant from beyond the sky. Some claim that he was exiled to Penacony as a prisoner. And some speculate that he wasn't even a real person, just a symbol. The true story is anyone's guess, but everyone aspires to emulate his success and be the next watchmaker. As his inspiring story became known across the cosmos, those with a dream flocked to Penacony in droves. They held feast after feast, eventually building the planet of festivities we have today. Everyone in Penacony knows this name. The cartoon character Clocky is portrayed as reckless and full of hot air. But I believe the real watchmaker was a nameless. After all, creating the dreamscape sounds like just the kind of thing a trailblazer would do. Hmm. Hold on. If the watchmaker really was a nameless, wouldn't that make him your predecessor? Would you like to take a picture with him? She's so cute. I think I'll pass. I'm allergic to camera lenses. Aha, I know how this goes. You're gonna charge me a lot just for taking the pic, aren't you? We really, yeah, this is this is so Disney coded. Of course not. What were you thinking? Clocky's face. Help! Help me! Pull me out! Help me! The eyelashes are begging to be pulled out, which feels a little too much like a dream. Interesting. Um. Not terrifying at all. Couldn't they legally put Steamboat Willie in this now? Uh, could they? It was named after me. No! <laughs> the despair in her voice if you spent all the money had me cackling. That's so terrible. Yeah, I, I did not want to spend all of her money. Sorry, I was just catching up. That's right. Yeah, Steamboat Willie did around. enter public domain. <laughs> hey, that sounded pretty good. Yeah, Cuphead is inspired by like older style cartoons. Like it's it's not like Cuphead style isn't like like unique. I mean, like when it came out, it, it was unique because we hadn't seen a, a animation style like that in a while. But yeah, it is inspired from like older older cartoons. Um, didn't see that the optional thing is is the picture. I thought the, the thing hidden in the eyelash was first. I got so upset that I missed the on the picture. Oh no! <gasps> Sorry. You want a photo with him? Sure. Please give me a phone. I'll take it for you. <laughs> that was an accident. I pushed the I pushed the wrong button. Okay, um, we are, we are standing man. <laughs> I love that the creature is yelling help. Meanwhile, I'm like, take a picture first. Oh my God, this is perfect. <laughs> it's done, it came out great. You're very photogenic. But first, let me take a selfie. Mm. 
Yank. Oh, it's one of the birds. Why does the bird have an accent? <laughs> this is about them cheese. Uh, offered some kind of reward. The main thing is that you need to go to the tree first. Perhaps you can meet with it again there. See just what exactly the next thing is. Is there something wrong with Clocky's statue? Why did you suddenly oh. jump just now? Did she not see? I rescued a bird, a bird with sharp edges and points. I pulled out his eyelashes. I can actually jump in this. I can? Really? You jumped just now. It was really sudden too. Well, <laughs> if you're okay, let's move on. I to didn't the even, no, I can't. Which is just a stone's throw away from here. Please follow me. I don't know if y'all can hear, but I'm hitting my space bar button and I cannot jump the way that, that they lied. The bird came from Xenoblade. Is it really sad that I like, I was like, oh my God, uh, a, an accent, Xenoblade. <laughs> uh, creation of the British government to spy on the people of a penal colony. <laughs> I didn't realize how nice this game looks. It's so beautiful. This game is gorgeous. Very, very gorgeous game. <clears throat> oh, okay, so we were playing, um, what is it called? We gotta pay attention the list. for the burbs. Oh, my dream is right before. Can you see that building in the distance? That's the famous Grand Theater, another great landmark of Penacony. Has a pretty unique shape, doesn't he? In the real world, it was originally the central prison of Astana. The family renovated it in the dreamscape and transformed it into the glorious Penacony Grand Theater. Since the moment it was built, the Grand Theater has graced the entire dreamscape with its rendition of the Odes of Harmony. During the Once in an Era Charmony Festival, Family members will gather at the theater to welcome the harmonious choir that blesses Penacony with everlasting peace. And here we are. The best viewing spot in all of Golden Hour. Look, there's even a telescope here. When the Charmony Festival arrives, remember to be here early if you want to get a seat. Next, I'll bring you somewhere you can really have fun. Wait! I found one! <laughs> Chirp, I got careless and forgot to install the hands on the timepiece. Guess I'll have to stand in for them, Chirp. Wait, no, 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 I have to give them an, I have to give them an accent. <clears throat> I wonder if young Ma Master Gold has replacement pots. I'll go ask now, Chip. Is Ideen Park. Everything here is themed around Soul Glad. It's a little crowded, so make sure you stay close. This is the largest park in Golden Hour. They are it so round. The soda culture of Penacony. The gigantic soda bottle houses the headquarters of the Soul Glad Enterprise. Soul Glad is said to have originated from a sweet medicinal syrup popular during the prison era. Invented by a man named Susa, it was thus called the Susa Juice. Susa Juice. Ideen, an interstellar traveling merchant, saw the potential in the beverage and purchased the formula. Ideon then carbonated the beverage and renamed it Soul Glad. He also pioneered the school of thought known as Syrupism, in which he promoted the consumption of Soul Glad as a new kind of lifestyle. And just like that, he created a commercial miracle. Did you know, one of the ingredients in the original recipe for Susa juice, known as Dreamleaf, has gone extinct. That means 
The only place you can get a taste of Apocal Soul Glad is in Penicone's Dreamscape. Now, this is also the only place where one can fully experience the core values of syrupism. This is so weird. Yeah, the way her okay, the way her her facial expression changed so suddenly, I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> what are you looking at? Are you good? Thanks for no one. Let me show you around. <laughs> what the hell? That was that was very strange. See these musical instruments playing themselves with no human performer in Penacony? Many objects and facilities have gained self-awareness due to the influence of the memoria. After being tamed by the family, some of them form the Sweet Dreams troupe to provide entertainment for guests. Be careful, though. Sometimes these animated objects can be affected by dangerous emotions or memories, and uh, transform into the destructive Dream Jolt troupe. <laughs> if you ever run into them, go ask the security guards nearby for help. The Dream Jolts troupe? Hey, there's a ride attendant over there. Let me get some ideas. Hi there. This is my friend's first visit to Pinnacle. May I get some ID tokens for her? Of course. Please show me your dreamscape pass. Name. Here's your dreamscape pass and tokens. Be sure to keep a good hold of them. Have a good time. How many tokens are there? Ten. You may now enjoy the attractions in Penacony to the fullest. Dang, that's all we need is ten? Thanks. <laughs> Let's try out some of the games nearby. Our goal is to use all the tokens. Uh, let's live life to the fullest. Time to get a little silly. Let's do it. Let me see which one should we try first. Since this is your first dreamy year, slots, I say we start with the easiest ones. <gasps> the dreamy slots and lucky wheel are pretty. The way that she's still talking about, I already know what to do. Okay, I just came from Vegas a couple months ago. Heck yeah! Wow, you won something. And your first attempt, impressive. Is that is that um? Does everyone get get the this pattern, or is it different every time? for some Adelons. A blue XV book. You got coins first. You keep playing. I'll go and get some drinks. Oh snap, I got this the second prize again. Okay, let me try a different game. Um, this one, Lucky Wheel. What's taking Firefly so long? Hmm. She's heading toward the bar. You got the super big prize in your second spin? Heck yeah! I don't like this one. I'm not getting very lucky. today I have an appointment at five too I completely forgot 
It's the it's the six. Hold on, let me message. I got a message after you really quick. Oh no, I, I have a hard stop. No, I had I had a hard stop at five today because I'm raiding out to another member of the Twitch Black Guild. Um, my slot was between two and five. So like I normally end at five anyway, like it's my normal stop time. So that was my hard stop at five because of that. But I actually, I actually have an appointment today too. So <laughs> uh, let me check if they're ready. Thank you so much, Coder. Um, gold dust. Wait, is there? Oh, wait, can I play this wait. one? Humongous! Pro you can get a a light cone from this. Has anyone won? I've used up all the tokens. Time to meet Firefly. Oh, wow! Wow! What are the rates? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, I got the super big prize. That's pretty good. All right, I used everything up. Please do not hit the entertainment facilities. Is live and good to go, no Rochelle? Okay, awesome. Yeah, I'll I'll probably uh, in a f let me actually let me finish this up and then we'll probably uh, start raiding out. Did you have fun? Some people couldn't get the gems. Oh my hours. gosh. Pretty amazing, isn't it? Um, it's nice. Everywhere is just magical. You sound a bit sad. I'm not sad. It's just that this dream is. So loving and forgiving. It's fast and deep like an ocean. Even the humblest people can find solace here. <laughs> I really appreciate your help earlier today. That's why I took the chance to introduce this beautiful place to you. It was willing to accept me. Even though I didn't belong here. I've grown very fond of this place. And that makes me want to <laughs> share it with others. She's so sweet. Aren't you a local? I am. At least for now. What does that mean? Hey, could you come closer? Closer, please. I have a question for you. She's Did a bat she Travel here alone? Um, it depends on what you want to do. Huh? My friends went to the other dreamscapes. Oh. Oh, I see. I'm not sure whether you've realized it or not. I took you through a very long scenic route and visited all kinds of places just now because... Well, someone's been following you. Oh, that's why she gave a glare. Don't turn around. I'm certain that you're his target. He's been on our tail since we parted ways with Mr. Gallagher. I wondered whether he was a friend of yours, but my instincts told me he wasn't. He's about five feet, nine inches tall, give or take. 
Judging from his strong build, it's clear that he's well trained. He walks in long strides, but his steps are light and barely audible. That way of walking doesn't leave footprints. He looks like a skilled fighter. The covert kind. He has large palms, yet his fingers are slender and nimble. I reckon he has experience Is that Sambo? like a short sword or a dagger. Do you know anybody like that? Maroon jacket, emerald oh, eyes, it's Zambo. blue hair. Ah, he's coming our way. I just, I love it. Hey, well, if it isn't my most loyal customer, <laughs> the Trailblazer girl. I love that she glared at him. Such a long time, old friend. Like she was really like, he what is, he is to going to here. mess you up. Oh he keeps my, following you. I'm in luck today. <laughs> Sambo? Yes, it's none other than your old friend, Sampo. Sampo Koski. You're surprised to see me? <laughs> you know, it's thanks to you that I can be here. You help your LO6 open up to the outside. Um, this gentleman is? Oh, Miss March, don't you remember me? After all the favors I did for you all in Bella Miss March? <laughs> you should get your eyesight checked. Are you sure March 7th looks like this? I'm gonna say it. My name is Firefly. <laughs> I'm a Dang, I was hoping for some family. for some silly response. Oh no wonder. I was just thinking, there's no way Miss March could change her appearance <laughs> so dramatically in such a short time. It's my pleasure to meet you. My name is Sampo, and I'm an old pal of hers. Uh, hers. Firefly, let's go. Since when did I acknowledge you as my friend? Nice to meet you too. Ooh, seems <laughs> like we're getting on the same wavelength now. Mr. Sampo, what's the purpose of your visit to Penacony? My purpose. <laughs> You're funny. What else can I do in Penacony? Well, I just hang around, daydream, and do the things that anyone on vacation would do. Speaking of which, old pal, since fate brings us here, I'm obliged to give you a tour of this area. I've been watching you two for a long time. Miss Firefly does know Penacony well, but when it comes to entertainment for grown-ups, I think I can do much better. <laughs> entertainment for grown-ups? Looks like my analysis is spot on. <laughs> Follow me, you two. Let me give you a taste of the adult The world. entertainments for grown-ups. Like, well, what? Uh, Mr. Sampo. <sighs> Anything bothering you, Miss Firefly? Don't worry. This isn't going to involve anything illegal. Okay. Yeah. We already gambled. Yeah, this is a this seems like it's a good place to stop. Um we will be stopping here, but please stick stick around. We are going to raid out to a number uh, bleh, another member of the Twitch Black Guild for our Black History Month um raid train that's going on all month long. So please stick around, y'all. Um, I will be live again tomorrow. So we will be continuing our journey through. Um, I'm never going to get it right. Penacony? Penacony. 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 We will be continuing tomorrow. Um, I'm hoping to actually be on time tomorrow since today was not a very great day for me considering I slept in so, uh, so late. Um, if you enjoyed the stream, make sure to follow. Um, also, uh, you can follow me on all of my social media. All of the links are going up in chat.